What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Commander Versus Season 19, Episode 6. Uh, Justin Parnell, John Suarez, Jeremy Knoll, and others. Oh, there he is. I thought it was, and Mike, but Stephen Oh, Green yes, yes. Uh, now it's just Mike. You want me to, here, here, here. Bye, Mike. The... Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. I thought Mike was going to be Oh, no, he's back. He's back. No, no, no. It's here. Okay. Uh, so, we've had a lot of special episodes this season, I feel like which is only appropriate because this season is so special in nature that we're all at home. Um, and a lot of people, just like us, have not been able to play with Ikoria cards in real life. But with Ikoria releasing last week, we have finally had the chance to get some Ikoria proper commander cards in our hands. Now, we all did have a chance to play with Ikoria cards at the pre-release party a couple of weeks ago. But we didn't exactly get to pick what we were going to be working with. Um, so finally, we've now had the chance to go through, select the very best of a Coria for Commander. And I imagine this is probably going to be the first time that people are going to be seeing some of these cards played in this format. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and start mine because there's been some comments recently about me playing black white and your season of black white here i yeah. don't really know how it happened sure uh that i happen to be playing black white again um i think you do know well, you chose it yeah you picked now, yeah. That's, now that's true i you, did you had a lot yeah. of options and the one you chose was black and white i'm simply Jeez. okay well one i'm trying to look for maybe i might not get a chance to play this card again this might be the only shot Okay, it's 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 days are numbered in every single format. Um, so yes, I am playing a black white card. I'm playing Lurus of the Dream Den because I really like the effect of the card. It just happens to be black and white. If this card was black and green, I would play it. If this was black and red, it just happens to be black and white. Sure. So I have another black white deck, and every single time I played a black white deck, I've I've gotten placed one higher in the standings for that week. And the last time that I played a black and white deck, which was uh, Kelsine, I got second. So it only goes to logic that I'll get first with Luris after playing the fourth the last black time white you, deck. I thought you just, you've only played black white decks. Have you played anything besides a black white deck? Uh, yeah, he, last week. Yeah, well, this is episode six. I only <laughs> played black white four times. I feel like you've played it seven times. <laughs> I haven't, <laughs> I haven't. Um, so anyway, so I have Luris of the Dream Den which is right here. Uh, now, notably, I'm not playing this as a companion. I'm playing this as my commander because I'm more committed to casting this card as other people who are playing things as companions might be. I'm not naming any names. I'm just suggesting um, that my bond with Luris is stronger than other people's with other companions might be. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, so some of the cards that I really like in this deck are Sinister Concoction, uh, which is a Shadows Over Instrad Enchantment uh, for black, I can pay black, pay a life, put top card in my library, into my discard, into my graveyard, discard a card, and sacrifice it to destroy target creature. Which conveniently are pretty much all things I want to do with Luris. So it's pretty it's this is a that's a that's a very sweet one to be able to cast, recur, and kill stuff all at the same time. Then I also have Angelic Renewal, uh, which says whenever a creature die dies, I can sacrifice Angelic Renewal. Uh, and return that creature to the battlefield. Which, of course, costs two, so I can replay it with Luris. And one of my favorite sacrifice cards of all time that I don't get to play very much because it doesn't always fit in decks, but the classic Claws of Gex. Uh, which, of course, the beautiful Urza Saga Brown Border. So, I thought you were going to say Aratog. Can you sacrifice enchantments to Aratog? Just enchantments. Claws of Gex can be sacrificed uh, anything. I thought you were going to say Spawning Foot. Yeah, spawning pit is what uh, I'm saying. No, I get to play that frequently, and it's it's in the deck. Yeah, he plays it all the time. But Artog, come on, man! You you showed us two enchantments to sacrifice to it. I did, but sure I don't want to sacrifice these to Artog because Artog sucks. So <laughs> um, instead, I'm going to uh, okay. Instead you can sacrifice of enchantment creatures to that, Justin. I could, I could, and those also suck for the most part. So instead, I'm just going to be playing Claws of Gix. Uh, okay. Spawning pit somewhere in the deck. Either way. Jeremy, you're also not playing a companion. You have a very strong bond with your singular creature that you're casting. Correct. I am going to be playing 
Rael the Ever Wise. And so this is a card that I actually pulled in my pre-release uh, party deck in my pool and didn't end up playing in there. Uh, but it seemed really, really neat to me, so I wanted to build it. So this is actually my personal version of this deck. Um, so it's not like super optimized or anything because it was mainly cards I had in the house. I don't have a, a Wheel of Fortune or anything. Um, and then bought a few others. So this says uh, whenever... Uh, or this says Rael gets plus one, plus oh for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. And whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. So uh, kind of has some synergy there with itself. And we're going to be playing things like Windfall and other such effects, other wheel type effects. Like I said, I don't actually have a wheel of fortune itself but we have all a bunch of the other ones windfall and and uh a wheel that is fate. really good to hear yeah i figured that it, really it seems like y'all are gonna want full live full graveyards anyway so oh yeah that's um, awesome some of the other stuff that i'm gonna be doing is trying to kill with commander damage by making it unblockable i like that uh, i don't like it. you i don't like it when you slip through spaces i don't like it at oh. all We've got a couple of those effects uh, and a couple other fun effects that care about uh, Ryle's power specifically. And then uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to build this deck is uh, I did play this, I think it was last season for the fan request episode, uh, and I wanted to play Thousand Year Storm because mm. it's just a fun, silly card, and it's uh, definitely a nod to Director Kyle here uh, trying to... I've got, I've got as a as a nod to Steven, I also have Lightning Bolt in the deck, so... You better, because that's how you're going to win. If I can play a couple of cards and then lightning bolt somebody out, that'd be just don't like lightning, bolt me. lightning bolt me. Yeah, don't lightning bolt me. That'd be that'd be a lot of fun. Definitely lightning bolt Steven specifically. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm going for here. Uh, so Steven, what do you got going on? You've got one of the partners, so why don't you talk about that? We've got one of the partners. Yeah, I have uh, the the companions, I apologize. And Jengatha. So which one is your? Uh, which one is I commander? went with Jengatha as my commander, and wait, yes. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I cheated. Way. Yeah, you yeah. Cheat. I went with Jengatha. Well, I kind of did because I can't play over. You're, you're not Jengatha. playing. You're not playing Jengatha as a companion. It's okay, Stephen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not okay. I was. I was when I read it. I was like, wait. Yeah, Jengatha <laughs> is my general. <laughs> And Obosh <laughs> is my companion. No, he did it. There we go. There. All right. There we go. Wait. Here it is. Here is yeah. the general. Wait. Here is the companion. There you go. Yeah. So Stephen, all the cards in your deck are odd. They are all odd. Yes. Both and, uh, cost and type of card. So uh, the first card we're going to talk about is Unpredictable Cyclone. This uh, lets me cycle a card, and when I cycle a card, I can exile the top cards of my library until I find a card that shares a type with it, and I can cast that one for free. All so I'm probably cycling. Probably. Yeah, I'm all probably the, cycling. All these yeah. you can eat. You can eat. Yeah. That seems uh, I'm also uh, going to play, uh, hopefully, on fifth turn, a Bone Miser, which happens to be a very powerful card with cycling. It's true, it says, true. Uh, whenever I discard a card, a creature card, I get a 2-2 two, two zombie. Whenever I discard a land card, I get 2 mana, which would be really good with cycling. And whenever I discard a non-creature, non-land card, I draw a card. And lastly, I have Spell Pyre Phoenix. And let me show it to you. It's got a lot of text, so I'm going to have to turn it around and read it again. Uh, Spell Pyre Phoenix enters the battlefield. You may return target instant or sorcery card with cycling ability from your graveyard to your hand. Beginning your end step, if you cycle two or more cards this turn, I can return uh, Phoenix from the graveyard to my hand. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to be cycling today, and uh, they've already been picking on me for playing Hundra because they just they can't imagine that it would be good enough to play. In cycles for three, I know, but I, I needed mm -hmm. cyclers, you know, odd costed yeah. cyclers. Yeah. You yeah. sure did. There weren't many yeah. options. And I did manage to play almost all the cycling lands. Almost. Almost. And yeah. one only one, one desert. And one desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens. It's true. It's true. So uh I'll go last because I have the best uh commander, companion, and deck tech. So I am playing Aluna, Apex of Wishes, and 
Karuga, the macro sage. So my companion restriction is that I have to have every single card that is not a land in my deck with a converted mana cost three or higher. Uh, so I do get to cheat on that a little bit. There are a lot of cards in Magic with a mana cost that also have an alternative cost that you can cast it for a little bit cheaper. So cards like Search for Tomorrow, Brazen Borrower, those kinds of things I get to play. Some split cards that cost a little bit less. Um, but my deck tech is what I was telling them, you guys earlier is the uh, the start to the greatest non-powered cube deck ever. Uh, so we'll start with Bloodbraid Elf because I'm going to hit a three off of it, obviously. I'm not going to have to worry about hitting any of the dudding, you know, duds that are one and two in your deck. That's true. So don't have to worry about That's that. Very true. Uh, I have Crystal Shard, which goes excellently with Bloodbraid Elf. It also goes really well with Mutate. Uh, so that I there's not a ton of mutate creatures that are really worth playing, but being oh able God. to rebuy you got me in the eye. <laughs> being able to rebuy your entire mutated pile is pretty sweet, and then you just get to reuse the mutate cards again. So it kind of draws you cards, especially in like in, in face of removal, you can just return a pile of three cards to your hand pretty yep. easily. And then the last card of my deck tech is the most powerful planeswalker ever printed, banned in nearly every format. Oko. You guys all may be familiar with them. I know you all have your uh, your three three elk counters, right? All of you have those. Every one of you, except for Jeremy. Yo, they yeah. sent me a second one, and I yeah. never returned the first one because I already oh. knew. Oh, okay. I got two elks now. There you go. Hold on, they, they gave me three. Is that because you're planning to make more of my stuff elks? I don't know. They gave me three as well. I don't know if they expected me to make my stuff elks, but that's not how Oko works. Well, right? I, I thought we got an embalm. Did, did Wizards of the Coast give you yours, John? <laughs> Jeremy, sure I have sure those, did. but I don't have a dry erase marker to use them. <laughs> nice. So that's what I'm doing. We'll uh, we'll see if I can cast uh, Karuga to draw a million cards. That would be my my goal now. Okay. All right. All right. Well. So, uh, as a reminder for everyone, uh, this is the way that we accrue points every week. And this is the part, theoretically, where Director Kyle will show the point screen, which he, by his claim, has never looked at. It's true. He, he puts that. it up there, but he's never seen it. So this is the way we accrue points every week. Um, and there's a, there's a document that we have that lists points. Um, you mean a spreadsheet? I, I see. I, I dare call it that. Uh, but legally, yes, a spreadsheet. And um, there's been some adjustments from last week. Last week was a big a big week on points. Um, I want to remind everyone what everyone went into last week with. Um, Jeremy had 10 and all the rest of us had 12. And uh, everyone is at a dramatically different point total. Uh, I'm going to go in an opposite direction. Uh, Steven and Jeremy are tied for second with 15. Okay, they had the We're also tied for first. I got it. Yeah. No, well, no. You, if you tied for something, you're tied for the lower of the two in Commander versus. We all know that. Yeah, yeah, but that means there's no one in first. There is no one in sole possession of first. Yeah. You guys are tied for second. Okay. Uh, Jeremy cast his commander four times and won, so went from ten points to fifteen. Uh, Stephen uh, got second, so well, he, yeah, went, he won with my deck. Of course, he I went got from second. twelve. Yeah, you were you you were maimed and then killed last. Uh, right. So you went from twelve to fifteen. John, you got first blood and died first alongside me. So you went from 12 to 14. Now, I died first. I didn't get any bonus points. And I also had a very lengthy search. So lengthy, in fact, that I actually lost two points. <laughs> so I have 11. After having 12 last week. Nice. At least I don't have to go last, Jeremy. Um, so... While my point total changed the least, I feel like losing a whole point on a week is uh, maybe more substantial than than everyone else's. So was, I'm in sole possession of last now. That's an achievement. Yeah, yeah make no mistake. Um, hopefully I'll be getting first blood with my deck full of two drops. So It will not be me. Yeah, I don't think it'll be you or Steven. That's not true. I'm, I'm either. playing Flourishing Fox. I can play it on turn one. I'd have to have a real good... Uh draw and you'd have to have a real bad draw i'd have, have a really bad draw yeah okay so all right now last week we had a, a historic amount of 
of point screens. Kyle, what are, what are we working with this week? All right, so this week uh, I have chosen five. But one of them is a two-parter. So there will be six different okay. screens all together. All right? Uh, Great. So here's the first one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Dylan is well in there like Dylan three times. times. There's a Crozen Group in there. I yeah, and, a Steven, and Stephen Green in there. Yeah, and Stephen Green. Yep. Well, that's because he you, used me to bludgeon you. Yep. Jeremy, you couldn't have done it with all of without all of the swords. It's true. It's true. Right. Okay, that's, that's a good one. Thanks, Kaylee. Dribbler, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's about right i couldn't see steven's face but i imagine that was pretty much exactly <laughs> oh right. i enjoyed it. it was good all right the rotund one okay. pretty good little team Noel there on uh spongebob's neck bottom of his neck area spongebob is a lot of a lot of weird <laughs> well uh, that's where that's where the shirt and tie is We're gonna call that yeah the we'll call that's it that's the bottom of the all neck right, next up jeremy's, jeremy's well, well. Is Jeremy playing Sulta? Yeah, I don't know as well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> AKA your own deck. Where the Red Fern grows. Thank yep. you so much. <laughs> Next. Uh, I believe this might be the part one. Look. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, I know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. uh, that's good. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And, uh, last good. Of the week from Matt Hoss. No, no, oh. no, this is not nice. That's a good one. Oh, oh man, oh, Matt Hoss. They're getting swallowed by the bog. Oh man, All right, I, was, I feel like I had a nightmare about that Bajuka bog later in the That day. is so good. Oh god, just my soul out of my body for that one. All right, no, no Bajuka bogs this week. I guess technically Steven could have one, but he definitely does not. I do not have a Bajuka bog. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Bajuka bog free. So <laughs> I might be in the clear this week. All right. Well, you guys ready to play with some Ikoria legends? Oh yeah. Some of some of some of you are playing multiple Ikoria legends. We have six in this episode, so all right. In that case, if you guys are ready and you folks are ready, we'll see you in the game. All right. Well, I've certainly earned the opportunity to go first. It's a weird way to earn it. It <laughs> is. I'm going to play a Temple of Silence and scry one, and then I'm going to pass the turn after that. Has that ever happened in an episode before? Oh. oh, oh. What? I have two or more opponents, right? Yeah, yes, Jeremy, Jeremy and Steven. I have a, a search for tomorrow. Sorry, oh, right. right. basically down. played a soul ring. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I will play an Indatha Triome tapped. Yep. I will play Mountain Pass. All my lands come into play tapped. <laughs> draw. I'm going to play a Swamp, and I'm going to play a Zulaport Cutthroat. Oh, boy. And I'll pass the turn. Man, why can't that be Blood Artist? One. It is not Blood Artist. Yeah, blood, blood Artist can't. Zero one. I didn't get yeah. anywhere. You had to get that one. I'll join you, Stephen, in playing a trial. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. We feel smart when you do it. I don't want to draw that right now. Hoondrog, you're wanting to wait for that one? <laughs> <laughs> we'll play uh, Fetid Pools and pass turn. Uh, Island? Uh, is it signet pass turn? All right, I will draw. I'm going to attack the one person that has no chance they can respond to this. That's me. It's going to be John. Attack you for one. If only this was an instant. All right. 
All right. Uh, second main phase, I'm going to play a planes. Man, you'd have been got got by dead gone. Guy would have been. I really would have been. <laughs> I'm going to play the aforementioned spawning pit. Of course yeah, you're man. Jeez. And then I'm going to play skull clamp. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. All go the fun ahead. stuff. I'm going to unsuspend that and search. Kyle, did you give me a spawn token? I didn't get you any. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, they don't exist. So. I, I know. I just I, I wanted to. I kind of want to see him sweat. All right. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? Uh, so what creatures are out right now? Just Zillipoke Cutthroat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just sack it to spawning pit. No, no. I got anything, John. We'll do it. I have a grip. I will make a 3-3 three, three beast because I don't have anything to do with two mana in my deck right now. So. You sure don't. So yeah. <laughs> All right. It'll be your go. What do you think I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to play a scattered gross tap and pass the turn. Mm. Your mana base is... The cycle is strong with you, Stephen. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. Super Man, you strong. know what would be really good if you could cast Venus Flare with Obosh out, but you can't. No, that's correct. Okay. I, they can't. I'm gonna cast Rail. Okay. I could have if I had just played Jengatha as a general, but Whoa, I felt it Jeremy. was irresponsible. Whoa, Jeremy! I'm going to cast Faithless Looting. No, you're not. You're casting Ancestral Recall. And then oh, I am going to one. discard two cards, which is going to be Rapid Hybridization and uh, Fling. So I will draw two more cards. Is that a Fling? It is it a was. Fling. Yeah. How scary is his hand that he's putting Flings in the... Well, it's early. It's pretty. It's fine. Yep. Pass turn. Doesn't she get power for? She each? does. She is so now she's already, three. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the. That's pretty good. All right. I'm gonna play a planes. Um, Stephen, I'm gonna attack you for one. Yeah. And I'm gonna play an executioner's capsule. Nice. Good. It is good. It's definitely good. Do I want to do anything else? Hmm. I think I want to see what else I have. I'm going to equip Zulport Cutthroat with Skull Clamp. Fair enough. No responses? Nope. All right. Everyone is going to lose one, and I'm going to gain one and draw two cards. Yep. Hmm. That was an excellent choice. I'm going to cast Bitter Blossom. Nice. Hmm. And, Good to me. And I am done after that. Bitter Blossom. Ryle, that's a... Man. Sweet. Sweet stuff going on. I wish you would have just mm-hmm. killed that Ryo. I thought about it, but then I drew Bitter Blossom. Because then I could have attacked the Ryo. You can still attack it. Uh, I could. I could. I think you should just make another Alpha. Well, yeah, I could do that too. I mean, I think that's what you should do. I mean, I might. We'll see. Jeremy? This one's coming at you. You guys are 3-3, right? Yep. Uh, Yeah, 3 at you. I'm taking it. Yeah, you know, though. Instant speed, zero cost, discard a card or something? Nope. Well, that doesn't pump its toughness. Just its power. Just its power. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Land for turn. Um, I'm going to tap three. Make an Oko. No. No Oko. I'm going to play a Life Crafter's Bestiary. Mm. And I'll take this. I guess I got to take it down again because I don't want to get... Let's see what we got here. Uh, you have Mountain Mountain or Mountain Island Island. Is it Signet? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Look what I got, John. You have a uh, nothing, Stephen. You have a uh, cycle land, cycle land, cycle land. And you have three cycle lands in play. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm just going to tick up on tap two and leave my defenses up and say go. In your turn, I'm going to cycle this primal hey. escapee. Ah. That, that's a beast. It is a bird beast, no less. <laughs> Um, we're going to play a remote isle tapped and a, a sub, Sabai crystal, I believe that's how you say it. There you go. Yeah. And I'm done. Steven, I don't think you did, but I, I really hope you played Amulet of uh, Vigor in that deck. I didn't. That doesn't cycle, John. It should cycle. cycle. There are a couple cards in my deck that don't cycle, but mainly we're cycling. <laughs> Got it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I am going to cast Forgotten Creation. Uh, oh, yeah? 3-3 three, three, Skulk. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may discard all the cards in your hand if you do draw that many cards. Boy, oh boy. I'm okay with that, Jeremy. You just remember that. Horror. Yeah. Uh, Rael's at 3-3 three, three right now. All the cards in your hand. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. How many cards are in your hand? Currently six. Oh, boy. Hmm. Okay, so you're just going to casually draw 12 next turn. Possibly. Do you have to? No, it just says it's a may. You may discard yeah. all the cards in your hand if you yeah. do draw that but many cards. you can't cards. discard two. You have to do one. No, no. You got to do no, all right. okay. yep, all enough. So if I, 12. Yeah, yeah, if I discard six, I draw six, and, and then, then draw then. six more from Forgotten Creation, and then draw for the turn. So I and actually draw 13 you, cards total. And then you lose the game for cheating. I got it, yeah. For cheating, yes. Um, go after Justin just because he's the highest right now. Okay. For three. Man, look at that Garrick sitting up there. Well, he knew that if he came after my Garrick, he wouldn't be drawing 12 cards next turn. That is correct. Oh, yeah. Jeremy, don't let him do that. Jeremy, I'm what is I'm yeah, what, but what if you attacking me make sure you also don't draw, draw 12 cards? No, I like that. I'm going to lose one and get an Ari Lox. All right. Draw for the turn. See what we're working with. Okay. Play a land. I think I would like to equip Skull Clamp to my Bitter Blossom token. Yep. John? Uh, yeah, go for it. One, two. You're at least drawing cards the fair way. <laughs> yeah, I'm drawing it. I'm, I'm, I'm working hard. Oh, I can't believe you said that he knew if he attacked you, he wouldn't draw 12 cards. There's no way that the two of you are letting him draw 12 cards. <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't matter who I attack. Yeah, that's so true, Jeremy. There's just no way they're going to let that happen. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to let happen. I'm going to let you draw 12 cards. The 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 so the two choices were attack Justin because he's at the highest or attack John with a bunch of open mana. Give attack Garrick, me or Garrick with a bunch of open mana. I could have just attacked. Yeah, you. I was wide open. You're not doing anything right now. I'm wide not. Open. We're not doing anything. Period. I'm gonna play sinister concoction. Yep. And after that, I'm just going to pass the turn. So you can Casually. one life, put the top card of your library into your graveyard, discard a card, sacrifice mm -hmm. it, and destroy a target creature. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Well. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'll send that. Scry one. Uh, I do like that card. That's a good magic card. I will keep that. Hmm. I think I'll keep that on top. Let me draw it. Okay. Who has the most fun thing in play? Steven. <laughs> it's, it's not me, but sure. I don't, I don't think it's Steven. <laughs> Would you, yeah, like to, been, would, you, would you like to? Would you like to? What kind of fun you want to have? Would you, would you like to windfall each turn, or would oh, you like to get bit of bitter blossom? 
I have uh, I have multiple. Most of my permanents say sacrifice on them as yeah, usual. True. So, like I said, it depends on the kind of fun you want to have. That's fair. Uh, I like having fun. I like having a lot of fun. All right. Well, I'm going to. Let's see. Five. I have seven mana available. I really wish I had. Eight. One. Eight mana. Yeah, I really wish I had eight. You're right. You could play Karuga and draw two cards. That sounds pretty good. That's not that's not bad. That's kind of a, a little bit of a waste for Karuga. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what your general off. does. I don't know what your general does. Uh, yeah. When it mutates, it reveals the top card of my library until I hit a non-land permanent and put it onto the battle or put it okay. in the battle or in my hand. For for each mutate or just the one? You know? uh, whenever it mutates. Just one time yeah. per mutate. See, but Krug is no good because that's that's a whole John's whole turn because he, he can't cast anything for two. Mm -hmm. Well, exactly. well, drawing cards, that's not true. He could cast something for three when he draws a land, Matt. So don't oh, worry. Uh, has he not played a land? Yeah, no, no, he I, has not. I have not, but I'm going to play Incubation for one. So I look at the top five cards in my library. I can reveal a creature card from among uh -uh. them. Uh, that's got one mana cost. You can't have that. Oh, well, it's a four. So I'm going to go ahead and look. Top five. One, two, three, four, and five. So I get a creature card from here. Oh, there's only one. Uh, I'll reveal Pouncing Shore Shark. Nice. Ooh. Random order for the others. I really like that, John. Pouncing Shore Shark? Yeah, it's a sweet one, right? Yeah. It's a sweet one. So, whoop. Um... I just want to build up some, some defense here. I'm going to go ahead and give me another Todd. And I guess since you know I have a Pouncing Shore Shark, I'll just kind of chill on it. Go ahead. Chill, chill, chill uh, yeah. on it. Draw. Well. Are we seeing one of your five drops? Uh, Probably not. Probably not. Not yet. Probably not. not. Yet. Too early. We're gonna to play a raw green crystal. No. And we'll just pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Oh, hold on. Hold on. End of Steven's turn. We gotta yep. <laughs> End of Steven's turn. Yeah, I'm not I'm not letting you. <laughs> you are not gonna just draw 12 cards while Willie knows. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna play a pouncing shore shark with mutate. And it's going to mutate on top of this beast and return dry out to your hand. I'm going to lightning bolt the beast. And you don't need mana, so. I had mana. Where? Had one mana. I had one mana. I had command power oh, on top. Okay, cool. Cool. So this is gone. Well, now at least it's only 11 guards. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to cast uh, Radiance Judgment on Rael. Nice, because it's four power now. It has four power now. Yeah, you put that line in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pew! Exile. Exile. It's destroyed. not. It's just, well, it's destroyed, but it's going to your general. Yeah. I also. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to. No do windfall. The, not going to windfall. Yeah. No, that's not out. Thank you, Steven. You're welcome. You're welcome. I needed, I needed some action for that to happen. Though. I feel like Justin was just going to let it happen. No. We'll never know. No, you did. He he was going to. You already done tap. He didn't even say anything. Niv it Perun. Uh-oh. I can tell you what. I won't be judging that one. I will move to attacks. Yep. How big is your skulker? Steven, three. Yeah, three. I knew I was going <laughs> to. I deserve that, Jeremy. I deserve yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I do deserve it. So. I'm going to pass the turn. Oh, I'll lose a life. Get a fairy. Draw a card. Okay. What do I have in hand? Six. All right. I'm going to skull clamp this Arilox. Draw two cards. What card do you have, Justin? Hmm? What card you got? Mm, now I have seven. I'm going to play planes. And then I'm going to cast 
uh, dusk creatures destroy all creatures power three or greater, which is all creatures. Sure. You have a trigger, Jeremy. I'll draw. I will deal one damage to Justin for casting the dusk. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Need your crystal shard, dude. I know. Also, I thought Pounce and Short Shark cost three. It costs it's, four. It's four to mutate and five to cast. Oh, okay. So five and four, not four and three. Got you. I'm done. Well, that was mean. <laughs> I never said I wasn't going to be mean. Uh, you were just not the, you weren't the intended target, but you were the collateral. Yeah, I sure was the intended target there. Look, I, you still got your Garrick. Jeremy decided to deal me one instead of a Planeswalker one, okay? Yeah, I'm going to keep You're feeling pretty good. Well, he wasn't going to deal to the Planeswalker. Jeremy knows. He knows what's up. Well, he's playing Is It Deck? Where, where is it? Is it friends? Is it bros? I don't think you're Is It bros. I think we might be. Hmm. Well, now what do I do? <laughs> well, I no, you can make another beast. That Garrick's on two instead of one. I know. It could have been on one. Could have been. But I don't want it to be on one. I want it to be on. I, I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with everything. I only killed um, the Rael because it got too powerful. Oh, See, yeah. I was going to let you draw all those cards because I couldn't stop it. So, four, six. All right. So, we'll tap these two for. Blue, blue. Green, green. We'll make a beast. We'll play Clever Impersonator. Paying one to draw a card. Oh, uh, you know, no, we're not going to pay one to draw a card. We're just going to we're just going to keep it. Well, Impersonator, good. Yeah. 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 All right, it's going to copy this gear. In case anybody's wondering. So Garrick's in my graveyard. It's going to come in with three counters. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll go up to four counters. Untapping these two. I'll play my land for the turn in Breeding Pool to take two. Mm. Mm. Well, let's see. Interesting sequence. Oh, no, Steven, don't you... Don't you uh, He's just said he's untapping and taking two. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm just whatever. You do whatever you do. I'm not doing anything. You just I have this untapped. I know. I'm, I'm in anticipation of him being done. All right. All right. Okay. Then I'm done. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Sure. I mean, if you go you want to keep no, no, I I insist. You're the type of player who plays a shock lead and then makes no play. Like oh well, I was about to. Well, then but make it. Well, no, you already untapped now. the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. okay. Way to get bullied. Um, we'll play Jingata. It's a lot to mana there when you untap with it. And I'll be done after that. I only did this because there's too many little little creatures in play in a minute. I know what's going to happen. There's one creature in play. Yeah, but you're going to play like seven eventually. Seven? That's Wouldn't so many. Temple of the False God, tap four, cast Primal Amulet. That's a good card. And that I, this is the one that instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, put a charge counter on it. Then if there are four or more charge counters on it, flip it. And it doubles the tap. And flip, doubles it. Flip is tap, add one mana of any color. When that mana is spent to cast an instant sorcery, copy that spell. Yeah, okay. Yep. That's pretty neat. Yeah, thought so. And then I uh, will pass the turn after that. Now, Stephen, what's the best thing you can do with that Jengoth on your turn? Uh, Well, I can't cycle with it. I know. You so, can. You no, can. I can't. If you have secluded step, you can cycle with it. Yeah, it... Sure, I, I can cycle uh, one card in my hand with it, or I can yeah. use it to cast Obosh because I could get a black and a red out of it. That's true. Yeah, that's true. 
So you're really getting like two mana. Maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, right now, <laughs> I'm getting two mana. <laughs> sure. <laughs> There's nothing I'll, in my hand. So. I'll untap. I'll lose one. Get a fairy. Draw a card. I am. I'm gonna cast Luris. Hey oh. They've entered the party. Luris has entered the chat. Uh, I'm going to cast Zulaport Cutthroat from my graveyard. So, so how does that work when you go to cast that? Is it still in the graveyard? Or is it transition zones? Say I had a coffin on, purge. It's on the stack. You can't. You, so I, have I, to I'm just making sure. Luris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. but yeah, yeah, it's good. I don't have anything. I just wanted to know. Okay, good to know. Um, well, I thought that I couldn't do it, but I'm making sure that I can't. Like, yeah, when yeah, you go yeah. to cast it; it's it's already out of the zone. So it's out. It's out there. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna play a planes, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. How many cards you got in hand, Justin? Uh, six. All right. Well, on tap. Scry one. Hmm. I, I just feel like John had Vincer. That's what he had last turn. Maybe. Or just a sneaking suspicion that he had Vincer. It fits in his deck really well. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Nah, you had it. It's okay. Steven's Steven sniffing it out. <laughs> yeah, I already did. There's a Vincer lurking over there. Vincer lurking. Yeah. That's what Vincer does, to be fair. Yeah, it is, he's a lurker. Is he? Yeah, it's a StarCraft unit. You burrow them underground, and he spikes units when they come by. <laughs> That's how they learned. I like the lurkers. They send their little spikes across. You can see them like pop up as they yeah, go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Always really good against Marines. They have no chance, you know. Yeah, they walk. They walk in a line. You just pop yeah. them all off. Those stupid Terrans. All right, here's yeah. four. Here's a favorite commander staple. Vincer. Decimate. Ah, uh, I see. Ooh, I'm not a fan of this, John, because I feel like I'm going to get got somehow. Well, no, it's it's really Justin who has to get targeted because he's going to re-get it all anyways from Luris. So. Well, I can't re-get it all. I mean, you can. That's true. It's going to take a lot of turns to get it all. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe it'll take one turn, depending on what I kill. Um, So, I think... Man, I don't want to kill all of your permanents. Me, me neither. We're in agreement. That's brutal. But all of your permanents are the ones I care about. That's because true. my deck's worth 99 cents. That's true. It's really because Steven's deck <laughs> is not If you take out, out, right. out the lands, there's just a lot, not a lot in here. Um, so I guess the creature is going to be Loris, because I don't care about Jengatha. You can have that, Steven. So Thank Loris you. is the creature. That's one. Uh, let's see. So next thing we have artifact. Could be skull clamp. Could be primal amulet. Could be a rock. It's not, not going to be any other ones. It could <laughs> be spawning pit. <laughs> it's not going to be any of those. It's going to be skull clamp or it's going to be primal wellspring. Jeremy, how many cards do you have? I have four. All right. So wellspring's not really doing anything for you, anyways. All right. I'm going to target skull clamp. Oh, man. There's only one enchantment in play. There is only one enchantment in play, so I have to target that one. That's just the There's requirement. The concoction. No, oh, that's an enchantment. Okay, so Bitter Blossom. You can keep the concoction. That's fine. Oh, gee, gee whiz. Yeah, no problem. Um, man, John, I only I, have two swamps. I know. I'm thinking about hitting that temple. I'm thinking about just just a full on decimating <laughs> Justin Parnell. <sighs> nah, let's hit the. Uh, Let's hit the Temple of the False God. That seems great. All right. Those are the choices. That's all of them, right? Artifact, Creature, Enchantment, Land. Those are the four things it hits. Yep. All right. So those are gone. That felt good. Yeah, so now the question is, which one of these are the best cards that we put in this graveyard? Uh, I mean, he's just going to cast them both next turn. No, oh, he's not going to. How can I cast them both? Well, Lurus is out. Oh, one of them. Loris going to the graveyard? You're thinking about it? Nope. All right. All right. We'll just tick up Garrick. Untap these two. And... I'm going to sacrifice Loris' spawning pit. Sorry. And all the fun. 
Sure, sure, sure. All right, I'm I'm done. Uh, end of turn. I'm gonna cycle a Oketra's attendant. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what that one is. Oh, it's a uh, no. It's okay. Three three, three flyer that cycles for two and embalms for five. You mistook oh. his statement for a question. Embalms for five. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it does embalm for five. There you go. I'm gonna attempt to cast Astral Drift. That's a really good card. I wish I had a Vencer. It's the one I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm try. Gonna spell. Yeah. Yeah. Straight okay. up. Just straight up counterspell. Don't like Astral Drift. Well, I'm and glad then, I didn't go and compare me with that disc decimate. Um, so five five color mana, no nothing for generics. Are you uh, yeah, I, because I have to. For yeah, the Robosh. Got yeah. it. Yeah. And then I can't really spend that mana. Um, so I'm done. Always spend it to cycle, Stephen. So, yeah, I guess he's going to spend it to cycle. It's like you could have just played that for five, right? Uh, yeah, but then I, I I can't spend this to cycle unless I have colored cycle spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You yeah, yeah. So it. if I have two mana, color cycle and spells, but you could you, you could have smacked Jeremy for ten. Yep. Uh, I'm fine. Just saying. <laughs> All right, I am going to pay three. I am going to actually flashback this Faithful Saluting. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Huh. Um, can I have my Astral Drift? And I don't even have anything in play but a Jengatha and an Oba. For now. That's exactly what I would have had him play under that. Well, it would have been the yeah. same thing. Well, I, I understand, but eventually you won't. Yeah. Discard this Desperate Ravens and an island. You have a second counter on that Wellspring. I do have a second counter on that Wellspring. I will play my land for the turn. Do want to do that? Oh, that actually cost one less, too. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Looting, yeah. That means this costs one less, so that only costs two. You got a ravings? I do have a ravings in the grave area. You getting desperate already? No, I'm just looking to flip this primal amulet, maybe. I want to I get desperate as soon as I can. Yeah. All right. I am going to actually Tolarian wins first. Hold up. This card in my hand. Whew. This card, Island Mountain Artful Dodge. Draw three cards. Now, John, what are you going to do when that's a land? Because you were like, ah, he's he's not doing anything with that Prime Amulet. Well, to be fair, he only had four cards in hand. So he needed to have four spells. I didn't count for the, the Fatal Suiting in there, okay? Jeremy, why didn't you just counter that Decimate, man? I could have had an Astral Drift in play. It's it's not that I'm mad that you, just, you killed Skull Clamp. So I don't want to mistake my comments for that because Skull oh, Clamp is always yeah. deserving. Yeah, it's a nice card. I can get Skull Clamp back a lot easier than Jeremy can get back that Primal Amulet. Sure, but what if I could just also deal with Primal Amulet? You have my attention. Now. Oh, only allow it if it's Crow's Can I, can I it, deal with Primal it, Wellspring? It, I don't know. Dude, it's going to be funny because it's about to happen. I it feel like it. It should be Crows and Grip, John. It's, it would only be appropriate for the times that Jeremy yeah. recently has Crows and Gripped you. It's yeah. true. I feel it coming, really, honestly. So your Tolarian wins, you drew how many cards? Three? Uh, Yeah, I drew three cards. I'm going to cast Desperate Cravings. Trigger. Trigger. <sighs> so it's going gonna, it's gonna to flip, and then if you cast an instant or sorcery, you copy it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Vince, um, sir. Vince, sir. Vince, sir. Vince, sir. Well, tri the, the, trigger. Yeah, this is trigger a trigger. Is there. You've cast the card. You've tapped out, right? No, I've got command timer. Oh, you didn't have to use that for... for uh... No, because it reduces them all by one. Well, that's poop. All right. I will attempt the beast with him. 
Not a Persian grip. Also not a Vincer. Also not a Vincer. But I will give you a beast hmm. through the screen because, mm -hmm. you know. I think you're about to get Swan Song. Yeah, I am going to cycle Lonely Sandbar. Oh. Cool. I was I was so ready for it to be that Swan Song. No, you got it. Yeah, you got it. It's a beast. It's a beast. You still need to do your draw, though. Harry, Harry. Harry. Desperate huh? Ritual or Oh, yeah. Need to do what have you played? Two for Desperate Ritual. Yeah. And then, yeah, I already. All right. So draw two, good. discard two at random. Wait, discard two at random? Yeah. Discard one, one, at random. Random. one at Or random. discard a card at random. Yeah. yeah. Draw two, discard one. All right. Five here. One, two, three, four, five. Reroll six. And landed on the two. Gonna discard this mountain. How and I will have a three-three beast, and I will grab that and pass the turn. All right. I don't think I want to kill anything. Nah. All right. Untap draw. Okay. I'm going to play a Tainted Field, which I have a Swamp, so it taps for black or white. Oh, I should have hit that Swamp. You were talking about the Temple. Swamp I wasn't know, on the radar. I know. It wasn't. It wasn't on my radar at all. Just because Swamp's never done anything wrong to John. You said Swamp's never done anything wrong? Yeah, not to John. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I think I want to cast Sword of the Animist. And I'm going to go to equip it to my fairy token. Okay. What's going on? Are you typing a novel? Me? I don't know. Whatever's noise that is. That was me. I was getting the little these little tokens out for counters. Gotcha. I'm going to attack uh, Garrick for two in the air and trigger Sword of the Animist. You'll regret that. Um, I'm a, I already have. <laughs> it's not like I can get back Decimate or anything, so. What, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to decim triple Decimate me again? Nah. So, so be it. No, I wouldn't do that again. Probably yeah. four this time. Yeah, I was gonna say you definitely, you definitely would at least hit me with it. I didn't even play my land last turn. You, I, I just assume you discard the only land in your hand. No, I have a land. I just never played it. Tisk tisk tisk. Did okay. you find your land, Justin? Yeah, I did. Okay. I got a I got a planes. Hmm. You know I am just gonna pass the turn. All right. Untap scry. Uh, is there anything that I want to put this on? Hmm. Yeah. I'll take that. That's a fun card for me. All right, Steven. What's up? I'm going to ramp you. Yeah, definitely. Song of the Dryads. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> you um, said, yeah, definitely. You said, yeah, definitely. I heard it. Been, I guess, yeah, it happens. What are you targeting? Right. Oh, gosh. Um, Oh, Bashi Bashi. Yeah. So you have a forest, Bashi. I sure do. Um, I need some cards. I'm going to untap two. I'm going to untap five and cast Karuga. Draw three. Uh, yeah, it'll draw for life caster, clever impersonator, and the song. So I'll draw three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, I will play a land for the turn. And. Be... I'm gonna cycle Jungle Weaver. 
I see. Oh, that was a two mana one. Yep. You could have cycled the three mana one. You could have cycled the three mana one. He was trying to let you cycle. But I don't have that. I don't don't have have that. You don't have Hundrog? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. All right. I will be done. So, uh, I'm going to tap nine. And then cast Entreat the Dead. Whew. Nice. And I'm going to put the Jungle Weaver, a Catcher's Attendant, and pre mock Escapee in play. Yep. And Jengatha is not tapped. I was like, I was counting. I was like, no. No, no. Jengatha's not tapped. Just, I didn't untap it. Well, good thing that uh, that ramp happened. Good thing that Obosh wasn't there, right? Yeah. <laughs> you would have been uh, at Jengatha for that. No, I wouldn't have. I'd just done it for two. Stephen, what turn did you draw and treat the dead? Uh, the, the second draw of the game. Excellent. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Second yeah. draw of the game. Um, I'm going to go to attackers. I'm going to take John for five. Actually, I'm going to attack Garrick for five. There you go. Hmm. That's a little rude. Is it? Yeah, it's a little rude. Nah, I don't. I got a forest I don't need somehow. All right. Yeah, the beast will, the beast will bite the dust. I will be done after that. You did need that forest, Stephen. As it turned out, he did. Uh, again, as I said, I just wouldn't have put the catcher's attendant in play. Yeah, but now you have an catcher's attendant in play. I sure do, but I would rather have him. But then. <laughs> But now, when it dies, you can embalm it. See? You're welcome. Opal Palace, I will pass the turn. Mm, just, that's not good. Sounds like a Cyclonic Rift. By pass the turn... How many cards are in your hand, Jeremy? Four. Four cards, seven mana, huh? All right. Hmm. Vance, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Steven really wants to see him out there. He's really, there now. Yeah. At this point, it's, he's just got to... He's, he's, he he's going to keep cheering for it. You know, against my better judgment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Utter End on uh, Garrick. Exiled. And it's exiled. Exilio. All right. Don't you lose? No, that's not the one you lose. It's English well, I'm making. No, yeah, yeah, it's English I'm making. Okay. But I wanted that, Garrick. Not yeah, well, he wanted a skull clamp. He can get it all back, Steven. And uh, what did he get? The bitter blossom? I sure I, did. I, I wanted yeah. all of those. I didn't kill anything he did. Steven is back. 100% correct. You know? Uh, I'm going to go to attacks. Sure. Now you can't attack Garrick. Jeremy, I'm going to attack you for two with flying and trigger sword of the animist. Okay. Take two. How's it I got the most permanents in play? Y'all talking the most junk about my deck. And here we are. Bunch of commons and uncommons in play. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a planes and three, four, five. I'm gonna cast Luris. Luris good. There it is. Uh I yeah, tapped out. Yeah. Sorry, I only have an island. It's it's good. <laughs> Three mana or more, remember. And I'm going to get back a... That's not the right one. Bitter Blossom. Yeah. That would be the right one. Yep. Okay. I am uh, done after that. On tap. Scry. Uh, Let's see. I'll put that on the bottom and draw. I shouldn't want you to have all that mana, John. No, I got you. I see. I see what you're doing. A little rude, but you know. 
Well, all your all your spells are big. Well, they all cost three or more, if that's what you mean, yes. That is what I mean, which is why I couldn't let you just have them. Yeah. Be awful. Just be horrible if you let me have them. I think you should mutate on top of your crew. That is not what I'm going to do. You know, nothing bad would, would happen. Yeah, nothing at all. I'm going to cast Wood Elves, and I'll pay the green to draw a card. Wood Elves is pretty good. So I draw the card for the Bestiary, and then... Uh, I search my library for a forest card and put it into play. Can you do it the other way instead? I cannot. No, because that way is way better. <laughs> uh, Depends if he wants to draw a land or what. It's true. Well, he's getting one. You said he wants two lands out of it? Yeah, maybe he does. It's, maybe. it's not. I'm trying to think. It's not a cultivate, man. Come on. That's forest. Maybe he really wants that second lane. He's an expensive cultivate, but I would play a cultivate that was a one mana or a one one four mana card. Okay, cultivated. Have at it, Steven. Gotta leave my Vencer up. Should probably leave your Vencer up. He's leaving it up, man. This is gonna be great when John finally casts Vencer. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and I'm going to draw a card because I'm going to finally have five open when I do. I'm going to cycle a polluted mire. Yep. Well, that's not what we wanted. All right. Hmm. It's attacking time. Steven's <laughs> favorite time of the day. I'm going to go to... Attackers. Let's see here. Um, you have a three three, right, Jeremy? Yeah, I have a three three beast. Okay, we'll. Uh, we'll attack the four four flyer at John, and the five six reach at Jeremy. And uh, you know what, Justin? A little Jigatha action towards you. Oh, but you're going to make me want to kill it, though. I mean, do what you want to do. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, what's coming at me, Stephen? Four? The 4-4 four, four fly. It flies, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. No blocks, obviously. 5-6 so reach. reach. Yeah, 5-6 five, five, six, six, reach. reach. Yeah. Means peace. yeah, I'm not venturing it, so you, I'm not, you're good. I'm on it. I'll take five. I'm going to block with Zulport Cutthroat. Yep. And uh, I'm going to sacrifice Zulport Cutthroat to Spawning Pit. Everyone will lose one and I'll gain one. Yep. Okay. Um... Justin, there's no more beating around the bush. I'm sorry. We're going to cast uh, Faith from Memory. We're going to target Skull Clan. Yeah, I like that. Old Onslaught special. <sighs> Steven. Listen, it, it, I'm, I've allowed you to return a Bitter Blossom. You had a whole turn last turn to get the one you wanted. Yeah, but you, were, if you decide you chose which one you wanted and I gave it to you. I'm basically in cycling Ash Barons. Just as a so, I mean, you prioritized which one was better. Clearly, you did you did? Well, no, it just it just the other the order was the correct order that I tried to choose. That is correct. You did choose the correct order, but but then you uh, because then you forgot fade for memory. Yeah, <laughs> memory was fading. Yeah. I, you know what, I did. You're 100 percent right. I forgot, forgot. I fade for memory, as most people probably have. Yeah. So, so it turns out I was lying the whole time. I had one black cycling card, but I needed it. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Look, my odds have come in handy. I have Radiance Judgment and Remove Your Crap from a Graveyard. So That's true. You have. You're not You're wrong. wrong. Cycling cards working overtime over there. So we're just going to play this Command Sphere. And that you know, like, Steven. I'll put a stomping ground into play. And yeah, but 
I needed I needed more mana effects uh, because I'm a land's going to play tap. So like three is really important for me to hit one of these. Draw oh, for the turn. Looks like this little ice house. Hmm. I know I should have put pull from eternity in this deck. <laughs> I usually do. Well, on the bright side, and you ready for this? I don't have a Bajuka box. I know. Yeah, I, I actually don't have that. So, fade to memory is probably my only trick. <laughs> I can't remember exactly every odd cost card I put in here because, as you can see, I went pretty deep on it. Do you have a Loaming Shaman? No. But that would be a decent one. Oh. Yeah, I don't have Loaming Shaman. I do not want to do that. I'm going to pass the turn. Now pass the turn. Yeah. That's a lot of reactive cards, man. That's that's a lot of mana he's been leaving up. All right. I'm going to remove two counters to make a spawn. Definitely doing a whole lot with it, right? Todd McFarlane's feeling really nice right now since he's got that spawn in play. <laughs> he's not getting any royalties off it, though. He didn't draw this picture. Yeah, that's that's fair. It doesn't matter. You keep saying it. Um, all right. Just going to untap. Upkeep, I'll lose a life. Just Good remember, day. Justin, you lost a skull clamp, but you kept a dust from dawn. Okay. What? That literally doesn't do anything. It just yeah, turns, it turns your soul book off through it. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, <laughs> later later when you have 32 drops in there, I mean, yeah. it won't do anything. I'm playing Isolated Chapel. Uh-huh. Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and cast uh, Zulaport Cutthroat from the graveyard. Can you guys believe that that's what he did? Hmm. It's hard to believe. Suspicious. Well, I didn't want to. I would have rather have cast Skull Clamp. Yeah, I know. He drew plenty of cards off that skull plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm almost out. I only have four left. Yeah, he's have... drawn more than enough cards. I only have four left. It's just not many. What is it, Steven? What is your creature? Three, three, fly. Okay. It embalms for five, though. It embalms <laughs> to turn in a four, four zombie flyer, zombie soldier flyer. Is it a zombie bird soldier or just a zombie soldier? It is a zombie bird soldier. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, well, I'm gonna. I'll give you a chance to do that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill it with uh, executioner's capsule. Boop. Okay, it's not nice. It is not nice. You're. You're right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna attack. John for two in the air and Steven for three with Luris on the ground. Everybody just keeps coming in the air. They just think they're they think the skies are all friendly and <laughs> I mean you can vince her at any time, John. No, I'm not wasting. John, you can vince her at any time. Any time at all. I believe yeah. that I take my damage. You've been holding it up whole game. All right. I'm gonna, gain, I'm gonna gain three life from Luris. Yeah. Take my damage right on the chance, sir. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Um I really don't have anything. I really needed that skull clamp a lot more than it seems like. Sounds like you shouldn't have tried to play correctly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> what an idiot! What a what a fool mm -hmm. I am! Yeah, All right, I'm, I'm done. I was real glad when you chose Bitter Blossom because I was like, man, I'd rather him not have that skull clamp, but I need to tap out for this. Scry. It's a cute card. Yeah, I'll keep that one. How cute is it? Well, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Let's tap four. Can I resolve a pan harmonicon? Oh, boy. I mean, I have no responses. I have no either. responses to Panharmonica. No, nope. oh, man. I don't have anything crazy, so you're good. It's Vincer. Yeah, now I get the double Vincer. Steven's got it right. 
Uh, John's just had been to the whole game. The I'm more Stephen talks, I know he's got it. The more Stephen talks about it, the less John wants to cast it. Because I know I've right. talked him out of it. That's the best part. I know he's got it. He's definitely got it. I really want to choreograph earlier with my Karuga. Get in here. I'm open. I'm, I'm open, open too. You're not open. You have a fairy and a two. I, and a I know. I just wanted you to attack me. Steven's already attacking. I feel like he's going to keep attacking me. All right, that's, not, that's, that's not true, but... I'm well, you already, you already did, so... Yeah, I take it. I'm going to hit you with Kuruga. Ouch. All right, go on now. Steven's got so much mana. So much mana. I do. I, do. I, I have a lot of it. Not as much as, you know, Justin, but... The old black-white deck, I know. This sword, this sword of the Animus has been putting in work. It has. Now, I don't have anything to cast, but... What are you at, 37? One day, yeah. Hmm. Spanner does have lifelink. It does have lifelink. I don't like that. All right. You go into a Tigers. Yep. Yep. Uh, John and what? Jeremy with the 5-5, five five because attacking Justin is pointless. So, so attack someone else with that 5-6. I'm going to yeah. leave it behind so I can eat some kind of creature. I'm going to make you kill my stuff every turn. I might just do it. I'm going to take the 4, Steven. Yep. I'm going to really wait for this Venser to be good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, embalm this card right here. Oh, I need to do this. You sh did they not get? Oh yeah, I guess they didn't. Yeah. All right, so it's a, four, it's a four four and it's black yeah. and and it has it has flying. Wait, did that creature not have vigilance? No, and it's also a it's a it's an embalm. Yeah, it's an so embalm. Not it's a white zombie bird soldier. Well, I have the embalm thing on it with no mana cost. Yeah, it's not the four four black because that's the other one. Eternal so, did it attack last turn or not? What this is flying? It doesn't have vigilance. It didn't attack. You killed it. I killed it on my. Oh. Turn. Yeah, you killed it with execution. Oh, I just did. I just. I thought he attacked with it. Oh, he attacked me with Jagatha. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put. It, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's just a three three. It's unbombed. All right, it's just a three three. Yeah. Not eternalized. A white zombie bird soldier. Yeah, it's not a four four. It's not eternalized. Right. Okay, we got it. And. I'm done. I'm going to desolate place house. Draw a card. The loot house. Yeah. Loot house. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was an ad that just popped up somewhere. On <laughs> when I said the loot house? Yeah. The loot. Oh, whoa. Some of these ads are just crazy. All right. Destroy this mountain. Untap. Draw for the turn. Land for the turn. Jeremy, what do you got going on over there? Um, I don't know. That's part of the problem. Okay. You know it would be really sweet if I had another fairy token, since this one's equipped and this one's going to be untapped. I have no way to designate that I'm going to have three different kinds of fairy tokens because I only got two. Well, you only need two if you had skull clamp. That's what I've heard. If you had skull clamp, it'd be really true. I know, I know, but I uh, I don't have skull clamp, Stephen. You made sure of that I'll never have it again. Oh, I cast memory jar on it. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. What did you just say? I'm going to cast Memory Jar. Jeez. A-OK -okay with me, Hoss. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. And then I'm going to pass the turn. You don't want to do it now? Nah. You sure? Oh, wait. Hold off. Um. Well, that really changed stuff, you know? I did. Did it? A way I wasn't wholly comfortable with. Well, I can't do anything about a memory jar, so... All right. I'm going to sacrifice Sinister Concoctions. I'm going to pay a life, so I'm going to go to 36. I'm going to put the top card of my graveyard into my... Li or my library into my graveyard, which is going to be Blind Obedience. Then I'm going to discard a card, which is going to be Immortal Servitude, and then sacrifice Sinister Concoction, and I'm going to destroy... Oops. 
I'm going to store a jungle weaver. Yep. That's a I'm lot of work. Kill I'm not even weaver. attacking you, Justin. You attacked his skull clam, Stephen. I'm attacking the other two players, and here but you are. But you, you attacked his skull clamp. You attacked his reason to live. It's true. I'll, I only Actually, attacked the skull clamp second, John. You started it. Steven, you know what you did? You blew up my Urborg last week, and I'm not over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to lose another life. I'm going to get a second uh, fairy token. I'll draw. Now, Jeremy, what do I do? how do you feel about popping that memory jar now that is a I horrible idea don't feel good about that at all mm, okay now i want you to think about it though okay i'm gonna think about it uh it seems real bad i thought you'd say that i thought you'd say that uh the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cast uh tithe taker now what does tithe taker say uh during my turn spells my opponent's cast cost one more and abilities they activate cost one more all right uh, I think this, I'm gonna turn, this is going to turn off Vincer uh, for the turn. Oh, okay. I can just on John's turn. I could pop my. It's fine. You, yeah, want, you don't have. You yeah, you, it's, it's, it's just my just my turn that that this can't happen. So yeah, I don't care. That's fine. Okay. I, oh, oh, it doesn't matter because I can tap the connection here for me <laughs> and then do it. Yep. Okay. I am. Well, I really wish I had another fairy token. Hold on. I have my own personal fairy tokens, which I have significantly more than two of. These are gone. Okay. All right. I'm going to go to combat. Um, John, I'm going to attack you with the Fairy Rogue and Luris. And Jeremy, I'm going to attack you with a 1 1 Fairy Rogue, Zulaport Cutthroat, and a Spawn. So four total? Trigger. Yeah, attacking John for five and Jeremy for four. Yep. Mm. All right. Everyone taken? Yeah. Damage. All right. I'm going to gain three life from Luris. What is, I'm sorry. Hold on. Before damage, what is the, the card attacking in the middle of your screen? This is a 2 2 spawn. 2 2 spawn. Th yeah. This is Zulaport. Okay. Gotcha. That's attacking Jeremy. So I forgot it was in my, my dead zone. Yeah. It's in your and. Yeah. Your and zone. Cool. All right. So I'm taking five. Jeremy's taking four. Yep. Yep. Okay. Man, Justin's such high life total. Yeah, he's at a ridiculously high life total. Well, I keep, uh, you know, keep having things happen that are good for me. It's true. Like attack on my commander. All right, I'm going to uh, pay one and cast uh, Executioner's Capsule with Luris. And this is, I feel like this is a terrible, such a bad idea. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna tap six, and I'm gonna cast Sun Titan. Oof, man. Uh, I don't think I can do anything about that. Sun Titan. Wow. What's in your graveyard? The return of the Sinister Concoction and, and Blind Obedience. Blind Obedience. Yep. Okay. It's resolve. Yep. Yep. All right. I'm gonna get back Blind Obedience. Yep. And then I'm going to play a land for the turn, which is going to be Bajuka Bog. And I'm going to target Jeremy. Whew. I haven't been in this game for several turns, so it's fine. Again, you got a, you got a jar. Yeah, you got a jar. jar. I haven't forgot. I haven't forgot about last week. I haven't forgot any of you. you I don't know done. what you did to me last week, John, but I'll think of something or I'll make it up if I have to. I expect nothing less. Great. Uh, I am done. Now, this card was going to be planned for Jeremy's memory jar, but now 
It's not. Go ahead and hit that blind obedience because I hate that card. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a person. Can you yeah. respond to that one? Okay. It's gone. All right. Jeremy, I'm going to hope that with your a million cards, you could do something to Justin because I can't. Uh, That's I my much. hope. I don't have much. All right. I'm going to scry. Um, these. So that's not the worst. It's not the worst. So I want to do that. Uh, you know, I think Luris is good enough that it might start seeing play in other formats. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> Maybe. I think it's got a shot. Put that on bottom. Uh, I'll draw for turn. Start things off with five. I'm gonna cast mold drifter. That's pretty good. Draw four that cards. Pretty good. All good. One, two, yeah. three, four. Okay. We will play our island for the turn. Hmm. Well, I don't like much of what's going on, but I want to attack someone. Who's open for business? I'm open. I only have three untapped creatures. Yeah, you're you're open, all right. Um. Well, I need Jeremy because I need him to, to do something. Steven, how big's your embalm creature? Three three. Three three. I think I'm probably gonna need for gonna block something that Justin does. So all right, I will be done. My turn, huh? Uh end of turn, we're gonna cycle a hollow one. We're also gonna cycle an acroma's blessing. Oof. We're also going to cycle a Wirewood Guardian for Forest. There you go. So you get a Forest out. Well, you can't have a Chroma's Vengeance in your deck, so that's not now. Chroma's I Blessing. Know. I yeah, know. Yeah. I'm just I, I was saying a Chroma's Vengeance. <laughs> yeah. I wish. No, I don't get any good cards. Oh, they're all even. That's not true that I don't get any good cards. But... Let's see. Degree of Pain is eight, so you don't have that one. John, I... Savagery. It's the best one I could play. Ugh. That is not that is not good. They are all even, aren't they? Look at that. The creative silence is like 18 mana or something. Six, silence is four, four for justice, six for silence, eight for annihilation, eight for pain, and nine for savagery. What to do? What to do? Justin, we're gonna take you for seven in the air. I like that. Hmm. Jeremy, how many cards do you have in your hand? I have three cards in my hand. You'll have seven during your turn. Maybe. Maybe he'll have eight. That's true. He will have eight. Um, I'll take seven. No, wait. I, I have a I have a fairy rogue. I'm gonna block your four four and sacrifice it to spawning pit. And then trigger Zulaport cutthroat. You have to how does spawning pit work? You have to pay mana or something? So Not sacrifice. I had to pay mana to make a spawn. Okay. okay. So so I'm going to ultimately take two because I'm going to take three, then gain one, and then every John, Steven, and Jeremy are all going to lose one. It was true. Um, I'm going to add mana with Giganta. Um, I will use a black from that. And I'm going to cast Crux of Fate. Hey! Like for all non-dragon creatures. Now, I would prefer that you just destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. <laughs> but change the... I don't... The, the, I, could, okay, I, would, I would choose all non-elk creatures. Yeah, you, choose you destroy the all non-dinosaur creatures? Well, dinosaur no, and it, dragons it, are very similar. It's just dragon. So Change the creature type on... I'm I'm here oh, for it. Yeah, that's a lot of little cutthroat, but I'm in for it. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm obviously going to respond. Yeah. So I'm just going to tell you instead of going one by. Is anyone going to like do any? 
guess it's hard for me to ask that question. Sure. You want me to go one by one, or you want me to just do them all? How many creatures do you have? Okay, I'll go one by one. That's and any question. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice Tithe Taker. Sure. I, these are the number of triggers it's going to be. Okay, sacrifice Tithe Taker. Then I'm going to sacrifice the spirit the Tithe Taker is going to make. Sure. Then I'm going to sacrifice Sun Titan. Yeah, so forth and so on. If you, well, yeah, yeah. well, that's what I was asking. Can I just yeah. do them all? But Jeremy was like, well, how many yeah. triggers? I'm going to let you do them all. I'm just no, 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 no. That, that, that's all. Like, you, you can do them all. I'm just wondering what's the total amount. Okay. Uh, so that was so that was three. And then I have four, five, six, and then seven. Uh, Luris is going to go over here. Yeah, but I, so I have seven of so I have seven of these, and then I'm gonna have nine of these. Seven of what? Seven Zulaport cutthroat triggers. And, and nine counters on. And nine counters on this because this yeah. will get a counter from Luris. So you're sacking the the Zulaport cutthroat to the spawning pit as well. Yeah, last. Last. Yeah, because it's gonna die. It's all non dragons, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. Okay, once you sack the Zulapot Cutthroat. Yeah. So are, are, are all those triggers on the stack? All those triggers are on the stack from your Zulapot Cutthroat, but the Crux of Fate is not resolved yet. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. Not bad. You can counter it. That's fine. No, I'm not going to counter it. I'm just going to bounce your spawning hit with a it Petty Theft. Okay. Um... I'll make four spawns. Sure. Then they're going to die. Wait, oh, they're going to die. Yeah, they're going to die. Yeah, that's why I wanted to make sure the Quetzal was gone, but before the Crux resolves. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. And this guy's going to go on an adventure. Yeah. All right. So okay. I have uh, four mana left from Jingata. Okay. Well, let's, let's let's resolve the cut. I don't want to forget these cutthroat triggers now. Oh, so, yeah. I was going to hope the director would just take. I thought he already did it. Yeah. He, he has not. Well, okay. he's, he's process. Yeah. yeah. So they're all going to each lose a seven. I'm going to gain seven. Okay. Yeah. I, was like, I thought he'd already done that. I'm sorry. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to recast Jengatha. So uh, one, I need six more. Since I can't pay generics. Yep. And I'll play a mountain. And I'm done. All right, Jeremy, here's your turn. And well, first turn. off, Jeremy, I set it up for you. See, I'm going to chaos work the uh, the uh, castle. Yeah. Wow. Well, he wants his rail to live. So yes. Yeah. And you have I really enough mana know. to be able to just kill it instantly. So you can kill that Jengatha. Could. Instead, he's going to try and get a random card. I got a lot of permanents in this deck. It's true. I believe you. I really, really want to hit Capsule again. Here, I'm going to shuffle on camera, just in case this is the time that it happens. <laughs> All right. I want to cut. Okay, come over. Come over here. Right, I'm not that far away, so don't don't ask for what. Right. You know, I'll come do it. I have a self minute. Live by the chaos, die by the chaos. Can't see it. Selfless spirit. I've Selfless been. spirit, uh -huh. yeah. That's a good one. All right. All right, Jeremy. Selfless spirit. All right. So it's, oops, to get the eight, I have to do it on upkeep, right? That is how you have to do it. Yep. Yeah. All right. So upkeep, crack jar. Okay. Home. I'm going to set, set these aside. right here. So we're all going to set aside our hand and draw seven. Draw seven. I'm going to. You're going to respond to spawn the jar. Oh, a street wraith, yeah. Okay. Three. Um, I paid you a lot for that, uh, director. I'm also going to cycle this triangle ticket. Five, six, seven. Draw for the turn. All right. I'm going to draw seven cards. Oh my lord, such good cards. Such good cards. Yeah. Claim a land for the turn. All 
All right, I'm going to pay five. Cast my commander. All right. Yep, yep. I am going to pay. Three. For gutter snipe. The gutter snipes. Mm. Yeah. And then I am going to move to my end step. Um. Hmm. Anybody have fun cards they want to play? Maybe. Definitely want to. I'm Can going I to. Know? I'm going to exile Elder Spirit Guide for my hand. Uh oh. Add a green. Oh, John, you cast a spell now. Oh, man. <laughs> you have a Simeon Spirit Guide, too? And now he's, unlocked, answer? he's unlocked his whole deck. Oh, man. Please <laughs> venture now. It'd be so good. He doesn't have enough mana. He does if he. Uh, spirit guide, also has the other a spirit guide. double spirit guide. Yeah. Fortunately, that adds green, and I can't even cast yeah. a brazen borrower from it. So, okay. Oh, I couldn't see your lands. I'm sorry. I was hoping for the venture where you put both the cards back in Jeremy's hand, and he had. I am problem. ready to discard. All right, everybody ready to discard? Yeah. yeah. I'm discarding six cards. Yep. So you're gonna have six plus your hand on the side. Yep. So and you're gonna draw one. six and then return your hand. And then discard your down to seven. Six. And then my two here. So you discard one. Do you have to discard one card? I will discard. Uh, this card is Forgotten Cave, actually. Okay. And then right. pass. Done. Yep. Oh, thank God I got my hand back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to draw. In case you're wondering, it's one of those. The thing, oh, I'm going to I'm going to lose a life and get a fairy token from Bitter Blossom. Uh first thing I'm going to do is cast Spawning Pit. Oh no. Not Spawning Pit. It's back. It's always back. It always comes back. Yeah. Well, I didn't want you to have four spawns. Yeah. It's understandable. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we worked together on that. I didn't feel yeah. like there was much choice. I mean, I needed to clear him away once. I mean, he can just rebuild really easily, and there's not a lot I can do about it. So, But with our powers combined, Stephen. I mean, I'm not. He just only attack me. You never attack him. I mean, I can't attack him. He has a million creatures. You I know. I did the same him. thing. I, I have attacked him. Uh-huh. Sorry, just just looking at my wares. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I get it. You got a lot of them. I do have a lot of them. That's true. A lot of options. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Luris. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what do I want to cast here? Not scope not. Well, that's what I want to cast, not what I will cast. But I really do want to cast it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, I think I'm going to cast uh, Sinister Concoction. All right. Just in case Jeremy has some shenanigans he thinks he's going to do with Riel. Um, shenanigans, you say? Yeah, shenanigans. I'm going to equip Sword of the Animist on Selfless Spirit. 
Who, look at all these life totals. Look at them. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. Is that good? Yeah. All right. I'm going to attack Jeremy for three with selfless spirit. No blocks. All right. I'm going to get a swamp. And you're going to take three. I don't think I've ever seen that card get so many lands out of your deck. I think you got like six or seven lands on it, right? I only have seven left. So I I, th I think I've gotten at least six off of this. I think this is the sixth the sixth land, which is a ton. Yeah, that's a lot of value. It is. There's a lot of value. Rampart growth every turn. I wouldn't have been able to, but Jeremy gave me a creature to attack him with. That was really my thanks to him. I could tell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm done. I'm done with that. Okay, hunt that. Well, that's scry. Don't want that. To the bottom. Draw. All right. Let, let's start with forest. Forest. Mountain. Forest, forest. I'm going to cast Bloodbraid Elf. Nice. That's a good one. Uh, Cascade does not get copied off Iron Harmonicon, so nope. we'll just go ahead and Cascade. Can't get Erratic Portal. Can't get Ristic Study. A little late for that card. No Ristic Study. Womp womp. Uh, and then we're going to pay six and mutate a Luna. Apex of Wishes on it. It is an elf. A non-human elf. You get two triggers. I do, because Mutate is a triggered ability when it enters the battlefield. It's cool. So, when this creature mutates, exile uh, cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent. Sorry, I'm just double-checking something with Mutate. I might not get two copies of it. I'm going to be honest, I don't know. Well, it says resolving the mutating creature spell doesn't enter the battlefield. It simply makes the creature it was already on the battlefield change characteristics. So it's not entering the battlefield. According yeah. to what I'm reading. So you don't get the panharmonic on trigger. So I don't I don't believe I get the panharmonic on trigger. So I'm just gonna get one. Let's go. Uh, exile until I hit non land. 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 So I can play this or put it in my hand. What is it? Blasphemous Act. Oh, sure. Um, let's see. There's a Jengatha, a Rael. Do I want to cast this? I don't want to lose my Luna before I get to do anything with it. Well, that'd be on you. It would be. And you get the Sack of Selfless Spirit, so that doesn't mean anything. Well, I, I want to have the Selfless Spirit. Sure. I don't want to not have it. Sure, sure. No, I'll just I'll hold it for now. So just you can just put it in your hand. Yeah, I can just put it in my hand. It says uh, put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. Oh, a non-land permanent. Non-land permanent. 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 Oh, permanent. Keep, keep keep on going. Keep on yeah. going. All right, all right. And it's it's the put into your hand in case you get another mutate card that you want to mutate onto. Yeah, okay. there you go. Land. Like oh, all right. Uh, is it Far exiled. Haven Elf? It is Far Haven Elf. That's way uh, less exciting than than. Yeah, uh, it's a double Far Haven Elf at least. That's true. That's pretty good. That's almost as good as Sword the Animist. Just calm down now, okay? I'm gonna get a mountain. And Luna keeps all those exiled. Uh, yeah, Luna says uh, exile cards, and it keeps mm. them exiled. So if they're gone forever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it for me. I think. Let me see if I'm attacking. Because my creature does have the haste from Bloodbraid Elf. Is anybody uh nah I'm good? Go ahead. <laughs> I had to look at my life total to see it was 12 to go ahead and just uh Yeah, feel free to get, get that attack on in. No, I don't want to do that. Get it on I, in there. Are you are you ready? Because I don't I'm gonna sacrifice this commander spirit at the end of the turn. I already put it in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, you do you man. Yeah, all right, just make it short. Well, 
play a forest. And guess what we got? We're going to play Astro Slide. Are you paying one? No. All right, I'm going to draw a card. You're welcome. You knew that I was going to give you some draws. Oh, yeah. Astro Slide. Hi, Justin. How many cards do you have in your hand, Steven? I have two. You want to guess? Yeah, they both cycle. Oh, they definitely do. Um, you know what? You know, let me think first. Does Gutter Snipe say it deals two to each opponent? Each opponent. Yes, it does. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, Justin doesn't care about that, but sure Steven don't. Might. Sure don't, Jeremy. You're gonna you're gonna go to your turn and you Gutter Snipe the world away. Uh, yeah, Jeremy, you're up now. Okay. We have a common enemy, Jeremy. We do. Steven. <laughs> it is definitely Justin. Oh, yeah. I wasn't going to acknowledge who it was. I was just going to let you know, let people read the room. Just throw it just throw it out there. The room has been read. Now, Steven, you notice how John said, "Hey Jeremy, we have a common enemy." Like you're just dirt under their foot. No, that's not true. Steven knows what's up. That's why he didn't pay for the Ristic study. Not, look at all that Steven open mana. never pays for the Ristic study. But look at all that open mana. Steven oh, never pays. Man. It does three, not matter. He got three mana to cycle home drug, okay? So I'm going to suspend Wheel of Faith. Suspend, huh? How many turns does that take to come off? Four. Four. Unless he has oh, a clock spinning. I hope he has a clock spinning because we're not going to live that long, Jeremy. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. Braylon, Sky Shark Rider. Uh oh. Uh, what did Braylon do? Are you are you paying one for Braylon? I will. It doesn't matter if you're gonna make me discard him anyways. Pay the one. I like where this is going. Well, Jeremy, we just talked yeah. about a common enemy here. Nope, not gonna pay. All right. Yeah, Stephen. Stephen's the common enemy. I am going to this isn't great. Which is the problem. <laughs> great. All right. All right. Just gonna kill kill me. No. Good. But yes. But yes. <laughs> no, of course. No, we ain't done, John. I'm gonna play teleportal targeting rail. Uh, Commander plus one teleportal plus one plus zero until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. It also has overload for three blue, blue, red. Rather, are you uh paying one? I am not paying one. You can definitely draw. Uh, yeah. gutter snipe trigger, gutter snipe trigger. All right, everyone loses two. I go to 40, John to 10, Stephen to 15. Yeah, I'm allow it. <laughs> I hope, I, hope he smacks, I hope he smacks Justin for 21 commander or 18 commander. What's, what's his power right now? What's he got? He's got plus one from the teleport, plus two from the teleport. I mean, well, Rail's only like a six six. Yeah. One, six. two, three, four, five, six. It's a seven right now. Uh, seven, seven three. Seven okay. three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's why I said it's administered a... concoction. So. Not going to be great. I'm going to move to attacks. That's fine. I'm going to declare attack at Justin. Does that have vigilance too? No. Okay. All right. I'm going to activate uh, Sinister Concoction. All right. I'm targeting uh, Riel. So. What do you have to do? What, what do you have to do to activate that? I have to pay black, pay a life, mill a card, discard a card, and sacrifice Sinister Concoction. Yeah. All right. Well, do all that, and then I might have a response. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to lose one. I'm going to mill one, discard one, sacrifice this. Okay, it's, it's happened. I'm, I'm done, a new I'm uh, requisite things. I'm a new uh, cycle a slippery karst, and I will slide the rail out. You're gonna slide the rail rail out? Yeah, so it doesn't die to the concussion. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Well, here we are. <laughs> well, you slide it's, it out. it's now being targeted by slide two. Yeah, so yeah. If there's something that can counter targeted abilities, it's, then uh... it slid, Jeremy. Slippery slide on out to the exile zone. 
This sounds like one of those situations where uh, Stephen didn't discuss helping you. Not at all. And helping you is hurting you. Yep. Well, here we are. <laughs> Wanted to hit Justin. Uh, and just to be clear, uh, I we have to, to be clear, when I told him to do all that, you should have said, I have something. I didn't I know you were going after my stuff. I clearly had something. <laughs> You had something I figured you were going to take care of his stuff. I did. He, I'm going to deflect him. I did your preach round, so it died. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deflecting SWAT because I control my uh, commander. Yeah, what are you deflecting? I'm going to deflect the the trigger from your enchantment to target Loris. Oh, God, yes. Can the tar- can it target Loris as a creature and non-black? You you may choose new targets no, no, I, for target. I, I just meant a sinister concoction, yeah, non-black it's, it's creature. Okay. Capsule capsules non-black. Got it. Um, I'll just sacrifice self spirit. Trigger gutter's knife. Yeah, uh, sure. You, are you paying one for your deflecting palm? Are you deflecting SWAT? Nope. All right. All right. All right. So now it's going to. Now it's going to slide out. Slide out. And then uh, whenever at the end of turn, you just do whatever you, you do your thing, man. So the fucking SWAT is spell or ability? Spell or ability, yes. That's a good card. It is a good card. Yeah. God. Comes back. Are you done? Is that the end of your turn? Everyone yeah. take two? Yeah, everyone took two. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, that means, so you're done? All right, cool. I'm going to lose one. Get a fairy. I feel like Justin's going to win this turn now. What? I don't know how he's gonna pull that one off. I'm somehow, not. A, I'm not a somehow gonna turn. drain us all. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'll have something to say about that. I will not. I hope you do. It might only be one thing, but I'm excited to see it. I'm gonna cast Icker Wellspring. What's that one do? Draw it draws me a card, and when it goes to the graveyard, it draws me a card. Are you paying? Um, are you paying one? No, John. Paying one? Okay, oh, no. now I'm getting scared that he is going to kill us because he's. Yeah, am I going to pay with all that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. good. Yeah, it's good. good. All right, I'm draw. Okay, I'm going to play a land for the turn. Now, what do I want to play from me graveyard? I'm just going to play the Sinister Concoction again. It's been doing work. It has. That's the card I was going to get with my, like, remove his graveyard thing because he did the deck tech on it, so I know he really wants it. But the Skull Clamp was just is too... Yeah, Skull, Clamp, better. Skull Clamp was awfully good. Yeah, Skull yeah. Clamp was awfully... I think I'm going to cast that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take a second just to double check, but... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's so much mana. So much mana. What you going to do with all of it? I don't know. You just never know. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. Okay. Um, now, for my next trick... I'm going to cast uh, return all creature cards with power two or less from your graveyard to your hand. Just you, right? Yeah, just me. So you're getting cutthroat. It, I'll show you the cards I'm getting. Um, Tithe Taker, Abyssal Gatekeeper, Stoneforge Mystic, Zulport Cutthroat, and Selfless Spirit. Which one's a bustle gatekeeper? Uh, when it's put in any graveyard, everyone sacrifices a creature. Got it. Are you paying one? No. Okay, I'm going to draw my one. Steven, do you have a response? I don't. Jeremy? I'm going to negate that. Okay. Uh, Jeremy. So, everybody takes two. You're, you're killing me here, Jeremy. I'm Are aware. Paying? Are you I paying one? I don't want to. No, I'm not paying the one. You can keep your honor cards. We each take um, two. Cards aren't going to matter if you keep gutter sniping. I don't you. want you to die. I want Justin to die at the moment. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like he doesn't <laughs> want you to die. I know. I know. I know. Okay. All right. 
Now, I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to cast uh, Savine's Reclamation. Oh, boy. What a, uh, From your graveyard or from hand? Uh, from my hand first. Oh, boy. I don't know what I mean. It's going to return a permanent with three or less, or spawning pit. Spawning pit's already there. What are you getting? Right. <laughs> yeah, or spawning pit. I like how you said that. Um, Jeremy, you have two mana open? I have two mana open. Um... I'm gonna get. I'm gonna target Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. No response. Okay. Make sure it's not this last card. Okay. No. You know we're playing Commander, not Legacy, right? Wait, what? You just playing Savine Reclamation for Stoneforge Mystic? It's just a Legacy play. I'm gonna get a uh, Dowsing Dagger. All right, now we're back to commander. Yeah, just to be just to be clear. <laughs> you trying to assassinate us? Forget what it does. Does it, it give you like little people when you turn it, it over? Gives, it gives. Uh, well, it's I don't know. It's uh, the one I have is in Russian. Um, oh, it enters the battlefield. Target <laughs> opponent creates, which is actually why two, I missed on the first pass. Oh, two green plant creatures with the yeah. <laughs> I Actually, thought I had a. a I thought I had another. Uh, another equipment but i think i took it out so so we're gonna get that one not exactly what i wanted but you know here we are um i'm gonna flash back savine's reclamation i think that i might respond so you get this is my hand but you'll get two right basically it gives him it gets two cards yes return two permanents Yep. Oh, here's some interaction. I'm just it's gonna, not I'm a gonna, copy, right? It just, it just no. It just get uh, if if this spell was cast from a graveyard, you make you make actually that's say you copy this spell. It may choose new targets. Oh, so you have a copy and that. Yeah. Are you are you playing the one for it? No, I won't be. Uh, I'm going to target uh, Abyssal Gatekeeper and Zulaport Cutthroat. Yep. Do these resolve? No response. No response. Okay. All right. Got all these. This is my hand, which is the Dowsing Dagger. Which really just drew me a card. Okay. Uh, so John's at six. I could just kill him. That would be cute. Sure could. Uh, you could kill him if you sacrifice every creature you had to play. Or he just plays a dousing dagger and sacks everything except for two creatures. I mean, he doesn't get the O2s. We, yeah, yeah. We, we oh, okay. It. Got it. I don't get him. Yeah. Also, I could just cycle his cutthroat out and make him sack more to get you. So. That's true, which would be fine. I wouldn't be, I would not be sad about that. Uh -huh. Jerry, do you, have, do you have any flying creatures? Nope. What is the... This one says target shark gains trample uh, until end of turn, and then the shark actually gives target human flying. So this has, whenever you discard a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it deals one damage to each opponent. And, and how, big, how big is it baseline? 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. I wish it was a 2-2. Two, two. Does it have flying? No. That's what I'm saying. The shark has flying. The shark has partner. Flying. And can give target human flying, and then this doesn't have trample, but can give target shark trample. Okay. All right. Well, um, I am just gonna attack you for one in the air, Jeremy. Gonna take it. Okay. Um, I am done after that. All right. I have a question. Yep. I can't astral slide your creature out the end of turn and skip a yes. turn, right? Yes, you yes. can. You can. Okay, because I read astral drift, and that's exactly what it says. But this astral slide doesn't say that. It just says, yes. okay, with the end of turn declared, I'm going to cycle an eternal dragon. And I'm going to, astral slide's going to target Zillaport Cutthroat. Okay. Um, how many cards do you have in your hand? One after that. One. Okay, I'm gonna before before you go get a planes because you can actually get a planes with cycling now. Yes, uh, that's exactly what I'm getting. Yeah, I know. But before you before you have it. Yeah, I got you. I'm I'm just gonna search my library. It's fine. Yeah. You do whatever you need to do. 
So John's at six. Yep. Okay. You got it. Okay. It's, 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 it's out until John's next turn. Till, and I got till John, till John's John, end of turn. End step. End of turn. Yeah. End of turn. Yeah. And I got a Rogren Triumph as my place. Okay. okay. All righty. No, John, you take your turn, bud. Okay. You got a million cards in your hand. I do. A lot of them were land. A lot he's got a land. specific a one in his hand that he's going to need to go ahead and pull trigger. Which one's that, Vencer? <laughs> oh, you didn't get it. Never mind. Yeah, he doesn't have. Right. Uh, he doesn't. Well, I literally, that. I made that so you could blaspheme, but you don't even have. That's exiled. It. Yep, it's gone, yeah. gone forever. I'll keep that one. Um, that was your shot, John. Thank you, thank you for the shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to help, man. There's your one. It's my one I give you. Moving off of uh, complete misinformation of your hand. There's a land for the turn. All right, so I have a six-powered creature. That means this card costs three. We play the Great Hinge. Nice. That's pretty good. Look at you digging out of that hole. Well, you, I did draw a million cards, so I found one. <laughs> um, okay. Two, three, four. I gained two. Five. Five. I am going to cast Hour of Devastation, which is not quite Blasphemous Act. Not quite. But hmm, still pretty I good. think it will do... Well, you expected a Blasphemous Act, Stephen, so this is the same yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm going to respond, obviously, and I'm going to cycle the Triumph, and I'm going to ask your sled, Jen got that out. Yeah, you are. I don't have a response. All right. I'm going to sacrifice my five creatures of the spawning pit with Abyssal Gatekeeper being last. And then the Abyssal Gatekeeper will make everyone sacrifice a creature. I thought you could just let it die, basically. And then it'll kill his 6-6, six, six, right? Oh, that's true. I guess I could do that. Oh, because it only does five. Yeah, yeah. Good call, Stephen. I'll, I'll only do four. All right, so what's happening? Uh, I'm sacrificing four of my creatures to Spawning Pit. Yeah. Okay, so then Hour of Devastation. Wait, Hour five. of Devastation exiles, though, right? Uh, does it? it says all no, creatures it lose not. indestructible okay. and deal five damage to each creature and each non bolus Planeswalker. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's cool. So the five happens? Yep. yep. All right, so this will Gatekeeper is going to die, and then everyone will sacrifice a creature. I'm going to repudiate that ability. One, one more again? Uh, repudiate counter target activated or triggered ability for two mana. That is a triggered ability. I ain't sacrificing nothing. Now it does cost two, you'll note. You you've been cheating this whole game with that, okay? <laughs> uh, Acting like you wouldn't be cheating on your your even costs there. Uh so Steven's gonna have a Jengatha coming back. Yeah, I set this up. Whoa, is it you like you're about to attack me? No, 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 I'm not. I'm attacking Justin. Okay, I'm sorry. Just be clear. Hey. To be very clear what's happening, this creature is coming at Justin. All right. All right, and then I'm going to go to... I'll take six, go to 28. Look at my graveyard and see if there's anything sweet that I could possibly get back. There's some good cards. Okay, I'm going to go to my end step. All right, Jengatha shall return. And, and so Zulfo 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 shall return. That's correct. Steven saved it for me. He sure did. Yeah. Fun I, saved John. I saved John with it, okay? <laughs> you, you did, actually. It's turned out. Yeah, well, I mean, had to, I had to do that. What a guy. I had to, I had to try to get out of this somehow. And we got rid of the gutter stomp, John. Yeah, to be fair, if he would have uh, given me my turn, I was going to repudiate that last trigger from that Zolpo cut through it. <laughs> and stay, stay at one. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. That would have been, been real funny. Yeah. It's all you, Stevie. Yeah. Um, all right. Take my turn. Upkeep. I'm going to return Eternal Dragon to my hand. 
For seven? Seven, that's so much mana. No, it only costs no, five. It only costs five, uh, man. Five or it does cost two white. Yeah, well, there's a scattered. Yeah, no, I know. I'm and, just uh, playing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. He's, he's having his Obosh for green, though. Yeah, I got him. Obosh is doing work. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to cast Faith of the Devoted. Oh, oh boy. No. Steven. Steven. <laughs> John, I, I believe uh, my Zulpa. Now, listen, no listen, 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 listen. I don't have to pay. I know, but you will. <laughs> no, that's that. not necessarily <laughs> true. I'm not, not at all. I don't have to. That's okay. right. Steven. <laughs> what am I? I'm at 11. No, I have I, to do I'm, something. I'm, I, it happens. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Oh, boy. Man. Oh, boy. What do I do now? <laughs> well, you only have four mana because Jengatha doesn't really help for that. So, Oh, you never know. All right, Jeremy, you're up, bud. Did you pay one for that faith? No. <laughs> Why would he pay I one? Need it for all that paying one he's going to do later. <laughs> Why would I pay one? Oh, John, don't worry. If I do get you, it will be one time because then you can offset it with the great hand. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I couldn't. I didn't think you were going to cycle a million times and pay. Like right now, you could realistically cycle twice, twice. and pay one, twice. So. Uh, who knows? Totally maybe, this is, maybe this is one time where I could actually use Jengatha. Yeah, sure. Well, sure. Then maybe three times. I don't think you can do it four times. No, I think you can only do it twice. But I could see a scenario where you could do three. Who knows if I even have another planes card to get? You do. Sure. You probably have a planes. Oh, no, no, no. They got. They got literally the Savai Triome. Oh, they did. Then you might. And they irrigated farmland with the uh, the jar. Well, fortunately for you, you don't have to find a planes. You can just cycle anyway. No, I know that. I, it's, but I would like to find the. And he has, he has his, his basic old planes in play, and he played sure scattered groves on turn one. Yeah, I only have one of each basic set. Cast rail. Yep. Happens. Pass the turn. Uh, into turn, I'm going to remove two, make a spawn. Uh. Is that good? Uh, hold on. Did Jeremy pay one? It did not. You get to draw. Okay. Then now you can, yeah, you do you. All right, is it good? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do it again. We get two spawns? Yeah, two spawns. There are two twos. Man. I think John might be dead. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm dead. <laughs> I can't even save you, man. He can, but he's going to say... No, I, I cannot. Wait till you see what I have to cycle. I mean, cycling anything is sliding things out. Yeah, but... Well, I'm going to have to slide the cut board. You got to down again. Oh, I lose one and get a uh, Fairy Rogue. 27. Okay. I'm going to cast Angelic Renewal. Now, what's that one say? Well, fortunately, it's up on the card viewer right now. Oh, that's not cool. Whenever a creature is put in my graveyard from the battlefield, I can sacrifice it if I do return that creature to the battlefield. I'm thinking. Thinking I'm going to die. You better go out, shoot, and bang, bang. Yeah, I think I'm going to die, but let's see what I can do. <sighs> You're going to be able to sacrifice so many things. And then I'm going to take so much damage. Right now you have, what, four? You can sack the renewals five. You have Luris. So many things. Uh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna, I think I have to. So Luris cost nine, three, six, nine. I'll we'll cast Luris for the fourth time. This is that good? Yeah. Only up no and response. up. No responses. Okay. All right. I'm going to cast. Uh, I cast Tithe Taker for my graveyard. I'm going to respond. 
Yeah. I'm going to cycle. Are you, are you paying one? No. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Not you, Justin. <laughs> um, I have four mana left over. No, I'm not going to pay one. I mean, I'm going to be dead anyways, right? You're I'm going to cycle Hoonrug. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to pay the one, and I'm going to target one of your spawn tokens. No, target the cutthroat. Target cutthroat. The you want me to target? The, okay, we'll target the cutthroat. But can he sacrifice it right now? I guess he, he can. He, he can. To... So, I mean, if I get a token, it's going away. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, cutthroat. None of this yeah. matters. So. Yeah, I'm gonna target cutthroat. No, I don't care, Steven. You target whatever you want. You do. All right, because I'm 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 dying anyway. So you. Yeah, just I'm gonna it. choose a spawn token, Justin. Choose a spawn. Yeah. All right. I'm going to sacrifice it to Spawning Pit. Everyone's going to lose one. I'm going to gain one. Yep. Did you right. draw your card for your hood and drug, Steven? I did not. That's important. Uh, tight take resolve? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. So I can attack with Cutthroat and a Spawn Token. Mm -hmm. Not attack with these. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to combat. And I'm going to attack John for three. No, you don't have to attack me. I, well, you you're the only one kill me. business. I can't profitably attack anybody else. And I, I like attacking. I feel like if I leave you alive, you'll, you can do, you can do some damage. I mean, I didn't do much damage last turn, so. Yeah, but, which is exactly why you're going to do it this turn. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm going to etherize your attackers. Okay. All right. I will respond. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to sacrifice uh, the spawn to spawning pit. Everyone loses one. I gain one. Uh, then I'm going to sacrifice uh, Zulaport Cutthroat to spawning pit. Everyone loses one. I'll gain one. Uh, I'm going to trigger Angelic Renewal. Returns Zulport cut through the battlefield, and this is going to go to the grave. Okay. Aetherize resolves. Mm -hmm. All right. John's at five. So, can do... You can do it. Yeah, I have to sacrifice... Most your board. No, not really. Eh. Spawning, pit, spawning pit is a, a wonderful, a wonderful thing. Um, I'm gonna make a spawn for for uh, moving two. I'm gonna sacrifice it to spawning pit. Everyone loses one. I gain one. I'm gonna remove these. Make a spawn. Uh, sacrifice it to spawning pit. Everyone loses one. I gain one. Uh, so John's at three. Is that right? Sure. That sounds right. Uh, yeah, 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 he is. I'm going to sacrifice Tithe Taker. Everyone loses one. I gain one. I'm going to go Spirit, or I won't. Well, I don't have a Spirit, so I guess I'm going to sacrifice that next. I'll sacrifice a Spirit to Spawning Pit. Everyone loses one, I gain one. Uh, I'm going to remove two, make a spawn, and then sacrifice the spawn. No, Everyone... Justin, you don't have to sack anything else. You could just wait and let me die when you want no. me to die. No, I can't because because then it. But then when you go, you gain two life on your turn. Yeah, but then you can still do it. I don't. But I, that's two more resources. No uh, mistake. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it. All right, Steven, your Obosh is unlocked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do your worst. Oh, Bosh, you're back, buddy. Yep. Hey, wait, Steven's at three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, hold on now. Hold on now. I thought Steven was at four. He, Kyle hadn't updated it. Uh, Yeah, I was at eight. Yep, he's at three. Okay. All right. I'm going to sacrifice fairy trigger. I'm going to respond. Okay. I'm going to tap Jengatha, and I'm going to... Cycle Monsters Care Bid and pay Faith of the Vote. 
and I will target Luris with the Astral Sled. Okay, I'll respond. Um, so this this has a, a counter, a future counter on it. The spawning pit has a future counter. It's coming. Yeah. Currently does not have. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to remove, make a spawn. So yep. remove these two. Uh, sacrifice, trigger. Uh, Steven goes to two. I'll sacrifice Luris. I'll sacrifice a little poor cutthroat. Yep. So this has three, and then when then that's going to resolve, and then I have four. That was four total. Yeah, you're at one, Jeremy. I don't know. I, I lost count. I think I died. Then. You, you did. died. Yeah. All right. And if Justin would have uh, removed the spawn counter. I am at one. Yeah. It was my turn. I, I miscounted Steven's life total. I would have done that differently because he was. I thought he was at four and he was at three. Yeah, I'm tapping well, out. It's your turn. I'm going to Souls Fire you, target Riel, and it's going to deal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to you. All right. I'll go to 30. <sighs> 30 is a long way to go. It's true. This is a two. Draw a card. Hmm. And you do 29. I'm going to break through for x equals 1. Okay. So I'm going to draw 4. 1, 2, 3. Four. You discard all but one. I'm going to discard all but one. How many are you discarding? I'm going to discard five cards total. Sounds like you're going to draw five more. So I'm going to discard these five cards. I'm going to draw five more. One, two, well, let's look at the I already drew for the turn, but one, two, three, four, five. That rail got real big. Yep, it is. I know. Get him, Jeremy. One, him. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve right now. Six more. Well, yeah, kind of. You can do it. You can do it, Jeremy. Yeah. Six more. I don't think you can. For what's worth, uh, he's got so much mana. You You've got a lot of you mana. Can't even, you can't even make a spawn. You got nothing. I'm going to pay four. I'm going to cast Gravatic Punch. Oh boy! Target creature I control deals damage equal to its power to target player. All right. One, two, three, four, twelve, five, six, seven. I'm a guess. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, twelve total. Okay. Well, that that sounds like lethal. Does it? Uh, that has like flashback or whatever, right? Uh, it has jump start. Yep. Damn, then, that's not good. Woo. And then that's twelve again. And then he attacks for eleven. <laughs> sounds oh like your dad. Sounds like your dad, Jeremy. You're it sounds at eighteen. Like he's dead. He is now not for um, long. I'm gonna discard this grammatic punch you again. <sighs> Yeah, don't forget to draw a card, though. Yep. <laughs> I thought uh, he already uh, he only draws. No, I only draw the first time I discard cards. Yeah, let's let let oh, let's oh, calm okay. down a little bit. The punch is exiled. I'm already getting died. The punch is exiled, and then you're attacking for eleven now. Yeah, so that is yeah another twelve, right? Yep. So he takes. Uh, well, by the time it resolves, it's exiled, right? So it's actually well, another it, was, it was it was twelve per time. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It wouldn't yeah. matter. It's at least ten. So yeah, he's for twelve 10. dead. He real dead. Whew. I mean, I don't have any man on tap. If nope. I had a man on tap, you're dead. Yep. Yeah. That Jigatha came in handy for you to lose. I really appreciate it, brother. Right now. All right, I'm dead. You got me. How's it feel, Justin? <laughs> Get him, Jerry. Get him. Nice threat assessment. Yeah. 
Not threat assessment, exactly. Just, just. Uh, had me sweating the whole time, too. Yeah. Did you pay for a heuristic study trigger? The whole no. time, no. Okay, I'm making sure. Just know, Justin, just in case he he, he might have greedily paid one and then died because he didn't pay the one. I just want to say for the record, you guys were picking on all the terrible cycling cards I chose. Yeah, but my awesome. goal was to live in death. I just never got to it. Mm. You did uh, cast the other card, the X. I did, yeah. I had I had live in death, uh, Rise of the Dark Realms, and Entreat the Dead. So I was like, yeah, I'll just cycle them and they'll pick on me and then suddenly there'll be 30 of them in play. Yep. It didn't work out that way, though. I'm so disappointed. You My, should be. I, I literally, I can't remember a, an episode of Commander Versus <sighs> where I was as disappointed to not win as. I don't think I've ever felt as good about, about losing as I do right now because of the way the game is. Like, I feel really good about that. Yeah. I just. I came in here. I had my graveyard sacrifice deck. I'm like, I can play this. I know yeah, exactly you, what I'm doing. You got three I all the tricks. Get everyone exactly where I want them. No Jeremy graveyard. One life. No, 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 no. You didn't get everybody. See, Jeremy's at one life. So you clearly didn't get everybody right where you wanted them. I, my fingers on it. That was, uh, you messed up somewhere. One's not zero. It's not. No, that's not, not what that means, though. When your opponent's at one and you die, you messed up. It's true. Somewhere along the line. Somewhere along the line, you messed up. It's true. Yeah, I should have attacked Jeremy with uh, with the creatures instead of John. That's true. Yeah, because John was dead. I wasn't going to authorize him. <laughs> you killed me from eight, and he was at five, so he was yeah. clearly dead. Yeah, I know. I just, yeah. I, Stephen, I just said it. You don't need to say it. I said it. But he said it again. I need yeah, to say it again. Up. Yeah, one double one masters, one. dog. Should've double masters. I had to say it again. It was actually really funny because one of the cards I had in hand when you attacked Justin was, or when you attacked uh, John was, what's the name of this card? I can't yeah, right. <laughs> No, no, no. It's the one that's, uh, it's it's from a commander set from a couple of years ago. It's blue, blue, and two. Uh, remove all attackers from combat and they yeah. attack someone else. Ray of Command? No, no, no. It's from a Not Illusionist me. Gambit. Ah. I had so that I was, I was attacking John no matter what. Yep. Okay, well, all right, then, uh, yeah, one point somewhere, mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Jeremy, are you a Bond hero or villain? If you only <laughs> have one villain. life left to live, buddy. <laughs> no time to die. This, this episode, you're the hero, okay? And Justin was the villain, for sure. For sure. Yeah. He was sitting in his tower explaining his whole plan. He to me. was. I'm going to stack all these creatures. Yeah. I'm going to drain all your life. And I'm, I'm going to walk sure. out. I'm going to keep all of my stuff on or all my stuff tapped, not have any creatures. I'm going to walk out of the room and let you do Justin, all your things with all your gadgets and fiddly pits. You never leave James Bond in a room with the laser <laughs> shark. Okay? It never pans out. You were James Bond, which is why I did that. Yeah, I mean, well, no, was I, was, I was 006, man. I, he was 007. I thought, okay? Jeremy, I thought Jeremy was Q. Okay? No, not, not today. Today he was a field agent, and he, he got got. Well, all right. Well, all right. You know the drill. Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, he just wants hashtag, to coast through the ending. Now. Hashtag CMDRVS, hashtag Commander Versus on Twitter. You can follow us at JParnell1, at A Natural Death, at Redneck Wins, at Jeremy Nolan, at DIR Kyle West, hashtag Scoops. Uh, Kyle tweeted out last week to send him your favorite Commander Versus moments. So if you have those, uh, make sure to let him know what they are. On so, the tweeters. On the on the tweeters, which is where also you need to be sending your point screens. They've been very good recently, so the bar is as get is getting higher. Yeah. So just keep At that in mind. At dir Kyle West. At dir Kyle West, you can you can contact you can contact us elsewhere. It doesn't matter if you don't send it to Twitter or at dir Kyle West. Doesn't matter. Um, let's see what else. YouTube, which is where you're watching this. Like, comment, share, subscribe, binge. Don't bajukabog me. Those are the six things you need to do. What Every about Fade Memory? Huh? What about Fade from Memory? Fade from Memory? Yeah, that was really good too. That I, was, was good. I recovered. I recovered from that. I really didn't. I only drew like my draw step for the whole rest of the game. I didn't work with very much. But Luris is a good magic card. Yeah. So Luris a little bit. 
definitely single-handedly had that game on lock until the very last turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, do all those six things. Uh, we have sponsors for the show. Um, unfortunately, Steven was never able to get those scoops from Tostitos, which is a real, just a shame, quite frankly. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I'm the only one that didn't get sponsored, clearly. Um, anyway, but we don't have our Carnox, Carnox chairs with us, but you can go to carnox.com slash SCG uh, to get 10% off of your Carnox chair at checkout. Uh, you can go to, uh, let's see, oh my gosh, coalesceapparel.shop. Is that it? Yep. Great, coalesceapparel.shop. We all have our, our Coles shirts. I got my blue and navy Wooberg shirt, which is, I think, my favorite one. You messed up. You should have been wearing this one, the Syndicate. Yeah, you got some. That's, that was one point of damage, John. If I had been wearing that shirt, then I would have got there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, colasapparel.shop, where you can use uh, gift code SCG to get to get some ten percent off. I believe it's not on our homepage anymore, which is usually where I read these off. So, you know, I think it's ten percent off. I'm pretty sure that it is. I'm pretty sure that it is. If it's not, um, it's ten percent off. I feel pretty confident. Yeah, I feel pretty confident. That's feel pretty confident. And of course, we always use Ultimate Guard products. We have deck boxes, sleeves, and you can go to StarCityGames.com. And if you have a premium membership, uh, you can get fifteen percent off of all supplies, which of course include all Ultimate Guard products. And if you don't have a premium membership, seven ninety nine a month gives you five percent off sealed product like Commander twenty twenty, a Coria sealed product. Uh, gets you 10% off singles and 15% off supplies across the board. And of course, gets you access to a bunch of content. Our stuff's always free, but if you want to see, uh, if you want to get Sheldon articles, Benny Smith, a bunch of our other great writers, if you're interested in other constructive formats, that is the, the place to go to get that. They will teach you everything that they know. They sure will. Uh, anyway, we do have one more thing before we head out. So Kyle, you wanna yeah, uh, sure. so, you wanna get uh, this here, get this get this ready? To be doing the uh, selection for our random. Uh, look, look, Mike. <laughs> Great, you made that really exciting. Yeah, very yeah. good. All right, that was that was on me. So next week we're gonna be heading back to the. I'm pointing at Stephen. Randomonium. Or the. John. Grand, Grand Harmonicon. Or the Jeremy. I wasn't Susan Sarandon. Or the Coliseum of Randomness, me. Or the Kyle. He doesn't right. know anyway. You know he doesn't know. You know he doesn't. Arena of the Arbitrary. So, uh, what we're going to be doing, because we obviously don't have Susan with us, is we're going to be randomly selecting commanders for each of us to play next for the next two weeks, but this one will be for next week on commander versus so who's going to be going first and Kyle's going, hit, Kyle's going to hit the random button one time for each person and whatever comes up that's what we're playing so who's going first i just want to say for the record kyle your intro is better don't let him get a big head your intro is fine kyle 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 you get to decide who uh who yeah who you decide going. do you feel like this click is a punish or a reward <laughs> it's true it could be anything because if you feel like it's a punish, you should choose we'll Justin. With, uh, Agreed. If you feel like it's a reward, yeah, you should probably choose today. me. So John will go first. Yeah. Ah. First. Oh boy, here we so go. Fourth is first, what are you saying? Yeah. Survey says. Okay. okay. All right. Well, that's a really it's, good one. Wow. Just say weather like yeah. captain. Yeah. I haven't played a five color deck, you know, that wasn't Corona in a while. So I'm in. Yep. Here's all right. Stevens. All legends all the time. Yep. All right. That's for John. So Steven is next. All right. It, come on, Stinker. Yes, good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey, look. The suggested video. Right up there. Yep. Yeah, that was a good one. Looks like we're the only ones that play Guafa Seed all the time. <laughs> Yep, All right, so Stephen, so we'll not gonna be attacking next week. At least that's that's something I can keep in mind. We'll see if that one point mattered. Next is, are you sure it's not Jeremy? It should have been Jeremy, but it's, it wasn't. All right. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No whammies, no whammies. Yeah! Yes, it's a 
champion's card. <laughs> Oh, that's what one point of damage gets you. Ugh. Bushido 2. Samurai tribal. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear I'm so to God. proud of you right now, Kyle. What? I'm so uh, proud of you. Before you, you click perfectly. it, what does this card even do? It, it doesn't matter. It, it's a six? Is that six mana? Yeah, three, three. But for each other yeah. samurai, you can pull it. one point of Bushido. <laughs> Oh, that's so rough. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh. That's what we're going to do. Just do, it. Just do the next yeah, one. Yeah, you said talking about looking for clips. There's one right there. Oh, gosh. Okay. Hey. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Get some beats Well, that going. card's not that good against Guapa Hazid, right? <laughs> I don't know if you're ever going to get a tackle with that, Jeremy. Oh, the best part of all of this is you playing. You're basically playing, playing Samurai Tribal next week for that that foolish one life you gave Jeremy. Yeah, this is pretty good. How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling? I can't my general four times. This is yeah. so undeserved. I have not seen a more deserving champion general ever given out. I've never seen time. that card before. I didn't know that card existed. Yeah, you did. No, I legitimately didn't. No. I've never seen that card before in my you life. You know about the General Takano. Come on I now. I definitely do not. Yeah, well, I know about it. And all the fans at home know about it. I don't know any so. of the words on that card except for the expansion symbol. Uh, Bushido. You do Bushido. know what that does. I, didn't, yeah. I, did, I know what it does. I didn't know it was on that card. Well, it's a good I, thing you know what it does because that one gets multiple points extra of Bushido for all other Samurais. Yeah. Control. You got to yeah. figure out some way to make us block. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be attacking. Yeah, you get to play uh, Righteousness. No, uh -uh. I'm cards. profiteering. Guapa said you ain't attacking. All right, we're done. <laughs> Just end of the episode.